Are we live? Are we live? Fantastic. Let's continue with some oxygen not included. And uh, when we last left off, we had this contraption up here that had a few uh, slight hiccups with it. I think I'll move this uh, uh, manual generator down here where the dupes can easily reach it. Um, especially where there's maybe a bit more oxygen. Oh no. Okay. Um, so this is basically our oxygen, ge oxygen generator now. Um, but maybe it's a bit reckless. We're, we're making oxygen very quickly. All the same, maybe it's a little bit reckless to expect it to bring oxygen all the way down here very quickly. Um, so I might just... Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what is this? Abstract Sculpture. Oh, it doesn't have, like, a special description, like in Dwarf Fortress. Minorly increases decor, contributing to morale. Plus 11. Can I move it? Uh, or is it just... Is it just here now? I, I don't think... I don't think uh, deconstruction is what I want to do here. Oh, well, I guess that can stay. At least for now. So we're not going to get a description of, like, how it depicts... Uh, a female dwarf giving birth on the battlefield or something like that. Seems like it doesn't. Okay. Um, we need to get some oxygen being generated as quickly as possible. Priority 9, priority 9, priority... That's actually correct. Uh, these two are connected to... A few oxygen generators. Do they not have algae? No power wire connected. A undead hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'll make... No, this is also urgent. It's a bug when you start the game. Oh, so now is it gonna... The no power, okay. Insufficient resources, algae. Yeah, I remember this. This is why... Alright, first of all, let's let's dig some algae. That will definitely help somewhat. Um, and priority... Very high. Um, and we need to get this thing operational. I mean, it is operational, but can we improve it? Or do we just need to prioritize it first? So first thing that happens here is a liquid pump takes in water that's about 70 degrees Celsius. Um, it gets pumped up here. Uh, gets a little bit cold. In fact, we had some trouble with it flashing to ice and somehow getting ejected from the pipe is what I think was happening here. Unless the electrolyzer has a habit of spitting out water. Um, so I let... I, I cut this to let a little bit of heat in from the opposite biome. The electrolyzer produces from water... Uh... Where is it? Does it show it here? Or do I just have to look here? Uh, 1,000 grams per second of water. The last step of the way is still normal pipe. It might still be breaking. Mm -hmm. 
um, and it outputs mostly oxygen, and the rest of it is 112 grams per second of hydrogen. Um, a hydrogen generator consumes less than that, 100 grams per second, and gives us 800 watts. Um, the sum total of everything else on this circuit that we need to run this stuff. We've got uh, a couple of gas pumps here. Gas pumps giving us... How much? Uh, let's see, 500 grams per second of gas into the pipes. Um, this thing outputs a bit less than a thousand, so these two should be able to handle that. Um, we have a gas filter, which outputs hydrogen um, straight to the hydrogen generator. It can also loop around and get stored. And the rest, uh, the rest of the oxygen comes out this way and gets dumped outside into the main base. Um, total power consumption for this whole thing is... 240 times 3. Um, so what? Let me use a little calculator to be absolutely sure. 720 um, plus 120 plus 120. 960, 970 watts. Uh, but does the gas filter actually consume all the time? Or is it like... Only when it actually works. I think I calculated this earlier whereby I thought we only needed one gas pump here. So then we would be under budget for the hydrogen generator to run the entire thing. Um, but as it is, we'll just have to input a bit of... Uh, a bit of elbow grease as well. But that's still pretty good. Oh, this, by the way, is just a gas shutoff, which... Uh, what was the condition I put on this? Or did I not do that yet? Where's the automation? Green signal, allow gas flow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pumping spare hydrogen into the anti-entropy thermo nullifier um, to cool the place down. Uh, partly because we're pumping in a bunch of hot water. Um, I think... I'm not sure how much power this uses. Didn't I look somewhere before and see that it only consumes a tiny bit of hydrogen? The power line, I mean, only when filtering for the gas filter. But that would be non-stop. Okay. Ten or so. Where does it say that? There it is. Ten grams per second of hydrogen. Um, so that's actually... If this actually was self-sufficient power-wise, if we only needed one gas pump here, this whole thing would be self-sufficient. Um, the little bit of excess hydrogen could all go into the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Um, and we're just going to set this to uh, anything above, I don't know, negative five? Any, any, anything above negative two degrees. I don't know. Um, do we really need to keep this biome that cool anymore? Growth halted atmosphere. Oh, it doesn't like oxygen? Oxygen. Body temp. Uh... Growth halted atmosphere, but it says it's fine, actually. That's weird. Anyway, I think, um... 
I think we'll try and keep this at about one degree. Good morning, Frecker. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think I looked it up last time on the wiki because I couldn't find it either. Just keep it running as is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I just need to make sure we get some, uh, we get a dupe using this, uh, battery recharge threshold, 90%. Yeah, I, I want, I, I should put a bigger battery on this. Um, I want this thing running pretty much all the time until we get complete saturation with the oxygen and preferably a surplus of hydrogen as well, if possible. Wait, I can make a better battery now, right? Uh, let's see. Smart battery. Very slightly loses charge over time. I think it tells us how much. Does it not? Power leak, 400 joules per cycle. Wow. That is a fifth as much of the as the jumbo battery. Uh, it's only got half the capacity of the jumbo battery, so we can think of it as two-fifths as much. Uh, it's also more heat efficient. Very cool. Smart battery can be used for automation as well. Yeah, I don't know what I would do with the automation in this instance. Um, but it certainly can. So I'll get rid of the old battery once I put this in. Okay. Um, so hopefully... Maybe I should make it an emergency priority, actually. Just to get a little bit of algae so that we can run the, the old oxygen diffusers. So that we can make it to our infinite supply of oxygen up here before we suffocate. Cool. And I don't see anyone running this generator. There we go. Wait, why does it say this isn't plugged in? Oh, it's just saying there's no automation wire connected, but that's fine this time. Do I, do I just have to give it a piece of wire to make it stop complaining? Logic activation parameters. Okay, so it sends a green signal or a red signal based on the configuration of the log. So does it send a green signal when we reach a high threshold? And a, Oh, it tells us. Sends a green signal when battery is less than 0% charged. Sends a red signal when battery is 100% charge. Okay, so it's like a couple of latches built into it. Um, but I really don't need the automation wire this time. I don't think. Alright. So we're outputting... what was it again? Oxygen and hydrogen. Some of the hydrogen is supplementing our power supply. Well, not just supplementing it, this is only 400 watts, right? For the uh, manual generator. So we definitely need the hydrogen for power. Or most of it, anyway. I don't know, at this rate we're never going to actually run the um, anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Also, is there not... if I set this to a hundred percent... 
Hmm. Uh, this is fine, I guess. Ator Burrs, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, and I sh should... I don't know, should I get rid of this battery so that we don't have... So the leaking isn't as bad? Probably. Or can I just dis- A, a, a mook has- a, 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 a horn has to come along and press a button if it- if I mark this for disable, so we may as well deconstruct it. So yeah, we want to keep- uh, I think I put some gas... yeah, I did. Oxygen is being pumped all the way down here. Alright, cool. That should be... F that should be deep enough to get the base all oxygenated. Why is this one so full of oxygen? Uh... That actually seems like a really good question. I don't know why there's so much oxygen here in particular. Um, does, does one of these plants or animals output oxygen? Open the doors? Uh, the pneumatic doors do let gas through, but do they perhaps... Oh, okay. So if air go... I guess this place had more air before, and there was just not that much foot traffic. That's probably it. Oh no no no! There's a there's a diffuser in here. That's why. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, the battery's actually getting full? Oh, is it because... Yeah, in, you know, no, I remember now. Um, the pump is only actually gonna... The pump's only gonna be active 10% of the time. Because the pump... Uh... Where is it? Uh, the pump can output... 10 kilograms per second. Burgers and fries. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Welcome, Raiders. Uh, Atto Burrs. Welcome, welcome also. I personally make my walls to the hallway with two door on top of each other to make oxygen spreading faster. Two doors on top of each other. I'm not sure I follow. So yeah, because the pump... Um, the pump can output 10 kilograms a second per uh, of water. And power consumption is 240. However, we can only actually consume 1 kilogram per second. Uh, with our... Electrolyzer. So... That means this doesn't actually consume 240 watts overall, it's more like 24 watts. So we got uh, 240, 480, let's... Uh, plus 120 is 600, 720, 730, plus 24, 754 watts. Um, so yeah, this should actually be... Uh, until something happens like we can't output gas because there's too much oxygen all the way down here. Um, this actually should be able to run itself. Maybe the battery was just not big enough earlier to, um, uh, to avoid it sputtering to get to the point where it'll run itself. 
We'll see. Nope, now it's dropping really, really quickly. I don't understand. A minute ago it was... Like... A second ago, really, it was, um... Maxed out. Is it just because we got a particularly chunky bit of hydrogen coming in? So now it's not working, but the gas... Oh, the gas stops moving. That's not great. Maybe if I had storage for the hydrogen and oxygen before the gas filled, I don't know if that would help. BSG tip. One electrolyzer produces O2 for two ventilation pumps and eight tubes. Two ventilation pumps. Do you mean these? The gas pumps? Or like... The gas vents are bottleneck. Good stream, except that over the last, like, hour, I've had an average bitrate of 1k. That is unfortunate. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just noticed all the YouTube uploads. Did you end up having any missing that you wanted a copy of? Uh, possibly. I kind of had to do them in a little bit of a hurry. Um, really wish I could automate that stuff. My Claire, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'd really like to get some kind of secondary power source for this that isn't, uh, isn't duplicate, so that we can have this run reliably. Um, and I'd like, I'd like to gain a bunch of hydrogen. Like, just by getting a power surplus from a different power source, we will gain a bunch of hydrogen. Um, and that'll act as another battery, so that... That'll act as a pretty big battery, so that this can run itself for a while. Um, but also, we can actually run the anti-entropy thermonullifier. Also, it's actually really cold here still. So that's another reason we haven't been running it yet. But I don't think the gas has made its way up here yet anyway. Oh, that's... That's a lot of hydrogen. Uh, okay. So now the battery is completely full, unsurprisingly. Uh, does this do what I think it does? Wait a second, I think we do have a use for the uh, automation wire coming from that battery. I've seen this with coal generators. Um, automation. Yeah, I think the... I think the hydrogen generator sometimes is consuming hydrogen even though the battery is full. Especially when it gets, like, bursts of hydrogen, as opposed to these little trickles. So I think what we have to do... Unfortunately, it requires a bunch of refined copper. If I don't set up the good kind of refining first, I'm going to have to waste just as much copper as we're about to use here. Um... I mean, it costs five. We can do uh, eight. Eight tiles of this. That's not not a whole lot. So this would be 63 tiles of automation wire. Or what I could do instead... What I could do instead is move the smart battery. If I put the smart battery next to this thing, um, we can just put automation wire straight through here or something. Or up here. What's the operating temperature range of this thing? I can't... Oh, there we go. 
Overheat temperature 75. I guess it doesn't have a minimum. So if I... How much does it cost? 200. Uh, if I deconstruct this, rebuild it up here or somewhere, and run a nice short automation wire... Um, is there hydrogen in there right now? I don't think there is. There definitely won't be if I deconstruct this first. How's our oxygen? Well, it's not great, but the dupes have places they can run to get a breath at least. Okay. So we're going to remove that. And we're going to build it up here. Um, I could maybe... I think we can get away with digging this away. And now it'll let us... Oh, here we go. Now it will let us place this over here. Uh, or not. We're waiting on that deconstruction. Cool. Maybe I could get rid of that ladder instead. Uh, it's fine. It'll be like one more tile, if that. I need to priority this. Also, that's a little distracting. Alright, smart battery goes here. Uh, automation wire... Are you kidding? Wait, what? Hang on. Did it... We definitely had some automation wire. I mean, refined copper. I think it got confused because... The chunk of... Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they took the refined copper from somewhere else to build this. Okay. Automation wire... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We can afford that. Um, and we basically probably don't want the hydrogen generator to run. So a red signal will stop it, right? There's no changing how that works. I think. Automation. Input. Green signal enable. Red signal disable. Okay. And then... Output. Sends a green signal when battery is less than... Sends a red signal when the battery is more than... Okay, yeah. This is already set up to be nice and simple. Signal inverters exist, good to know. Glad we don't have to use one here. Alright, so low threshold, I think... Something like 20%. And high threshold, 80%. Let's try that. I imagine if the battery gets completely full, it means we probably wasted some hydrogen. Oh, and we do, of course, need to connect this with some regular wire. Uh, priority, construction only, go. And it's night time again, isn't it? No? They're eating. Why are there hatches out here? And why are they glum? 
And why are they not in their home? Wrangle them up. Why are they glum? Critter metabolism. Feeling down because needs aren't being met. Happiness minus one. Total happiness negative one. Tame negative one. What? Is it because it hasn't been, like, groomed for a bit or something? Alright, let's focus on this first. Oh, it still hasn't been built. Don't go to sleep without... Uh, probably an egg in the storage bin somewhere. Oh. That would be why they're stuck in this room. Okay. Um, Critter Egg, we removed that, but maybe it was too late. Alright, can we get this wire built, please? Supplying construction materials. And that is the printing sound. Uh, we've already got as many dupes as beds. Let's see. We already got a decorator, even. We've got multiple doctors. Uh, I guess we could take some coal. Kitchen menace. Uh, can't do cooking. Mouth breather, get out of here. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty easy choice this time. We'll just take some coal. Alright, there's our generator. It is out... I, I guess it's telling us that it's outputting a green signal with this uh, graphic here. Can I see it in this view? I think... Yeah, I think that's it outputting green. And then... red? Looks like just the light being switched off here indicates red. Alright, so we should see a bunch of hydrogen cycling in this storage area. And then once the battery gets low enough... On it goes. It actually gets full pretty quickly. Alright, so it just switched off, but we've got all of this input here. Is it going to waste that if that goes over, or is this just going to stop? It's just going to stop. Cool. Um, that means we can definitely set this to, like, probably 100%. And it'll flick back on when it gets down to 20. Just won't be used. Cool. Alright, I think the... Does this use any power? I don't think so. I mean, it, it, it bleeds a bit of power, but not much. Uh, 400 joules per day. That's That's like nothing. Uh, so yeah, I think... Okay. Let's... Let's run this experiment. Disable building. We're not gonna run the... Manual generator. According to our math, there should be a little bit of a surplus of power. And we should be... Slowly accumulating... Hydrogen here. Doesn't take that long for the battery to 
drop down really low. But that's fine. We couldn't have a smaller um, drain from batteries than if we just had one smart battery, right? Small battery, 1,000 joules per cycle. This is less than half of that. With 100%, it would waste a minuscule amount of power when it produces while battery full. Yeah. Cool. I think it's working. And what temperature is this air coming out? Negative 20 degrees. Uh, that's colder than expected. Although it's quite warm by the time it gets here, so... It doesn't seem like we're pumping... Uh, I think if we were pumping the relative lack of heat down this way... Uh, we'd want to do fluid. I mean, air, oxygen is a fluid, but that's not what I meant. You might want to isolate through the high heat area. Isolate through the high heat area. A gas. What's the temperature here? Uh... We've got conflicting reports as to what the temperature is on this tile. As long as the water doesn't freeze and jump out of the system, it's fine. What is a gas but a liquid you can keep in your lungs? <laughs> see for cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, I think... I think that's us with infinite oxygen, practically. Uh, I suppose... Well, it... Unless we're consuming this water faster than it's getting produced. I just did a speed test and got 70k up 400 meters down? 400 meg down. 70k up. Ouch. I imagine that is less than you are paying for. Oh, what, what the... Hold up. Why are we not seeing hydrogen cycling right now? I mean, does, we've got more coming in, but... It might just be sort of some variance. Yeah, now there's lots of it, and we haven't had any more dupe input. Hmm. What if I set this to trigger at 50%? And we'll activate this and set the battery recharge rate to 20%. So if it falls over, a dupe will restart it. Check the gas overlay around the top pump. Top pump. This one? I mean, yeah, the way the gases flow around, I would expect a little bit of somewhat spiky behavior with when we get the, um, when we get the input of hydrogen.
I don't think we can really use this as like a hydrogen factory though, because eventually we're going to reach uh, max pressure outputting oxygen, and that's great. But once that happens, um, we won't be getting our byproduct of surplus hydrogen. stopped. I don't really understand how it went that long if it's not net positive. You see the top pump stifle from time to time? Yeah, I would expect as much. Although, maybe not actually. Well, yes, yes I would, because our output is... Wait, no, our output is exactly a thousand grams per second, and these pumps do 500 grams per second each, so they sh should be able to work continuously. Maybe it's a bit of a pressure bottleneck? Oh, max gas pressure. Yeah, okay. Maybe this pump needs to be over here. We didn't have room to put it there before. Why don't we um, copy copy this? And we'll put... Uh, this here? And this here. And we can remove this one after that. Well, not before we replace that floor, I suppose. You want to snake your pipe a little bit? What do you mean by that? So once that's empty, we can remove this. What? Are you stuck? What? You shouldn't be stuck. You're not stuck. That That's a terrible place to idle. And... Uh, we probably don't need that airlock there either. What's happening is that it's pulling multiple small blocks of oxygen and not enough hydrogen. Oh, I see. So because of the way that works, there's not enough of a buffer in the pipe itself. Maybe... If we have a gas reservoir, can it have multiple gases stored in it? Or no. So, is that already helping? Also, it's not logical, but a gas pump pull area is a cross. Okay. Well, I've put gas pumps directly next to the electrolyzer. So, that's probably as good as it's going to get, right? It It's looking pretty... Pretty consistent. We do keep hitting mass ga gas pressure for just a moment. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, the hydrogen is building up. 
Or that's what I thought before as well, but I think this is more than we've seen before. Alright, I guess we'll check in on this in a little while. But yeah, it does seem to be working for now. Alright, so... Uh, so we seem to have our net positive hydrogen. Although it might... It, just so that we can run this uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier. I don't know how much it's going to cool things based on how much hydrogen. But I was thinking maybe we could run, uh, where is it? Uh, maybe we could run our metal refining here where it's nice and cool, um, and we can cool things down if it comes to that. I don't think a single piece of hydrogen has reached this gas shutoff yet, though. Um, given the way... If that gas shutoff was on, would this turn left sometimes, or...? Or is that not how that works in this game? Maybe the gas shutoff should be, uh... What does it cost? 50 copper. Maybe it should be before the storage tanks. If you want to play with the gas automatically separating, you might want to go onto a test map. Hmm. Didn't know that was an option in this game. Yeah, maybe I should move this here-ish. And take the gas from here, so that there's always going to be some... Well, let's... let's just try it. I wish I had room to just put it in here somewhere, but it's fine. Or not even that, I could probably just... Probably just put this here. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Once we remove um, this bit of ladder. shouldn't have removed this bit of pipe here. Does it have to go in this way, or...? Oh, we also need this to go up here. That's going to be hanging there forever now, isn't it? Also, I need to move this bit of... Automation wire. Zaxon? Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Already found your AETN? Yes, indeed. I have found one before in a previous game, but I, this is the first time I've actually hooked it up so that we can use it. Uh, we need ladders. Hmm. I guess... 
Wait, can I still have a ladder behind this? No, but they can hop across that, can't they? We're definitely gaining hydrogen. And... Oh yeah, that's right, we were analysing this, weren't we? But every time someone jumps in here to analyse it, they almost get scolded to death, Valdak. Um... But once we have finished analysing it, uh, we'll be able to see exactly how much we're going to get from it. Wait, he's not getting scalded. What temperature is this? 68 degrees? Are you wearing protective gear or something? Where do I find that? Um... Body temperature... The, the water is 68 degrees. I think that's a bit cooler than it was before. Toasty surroundings... Where do I see the limits? And or... Temperature... Okay, no. Was 70 before, yeah. Well, that makes it all the easier. Um, the main reason I expected to have to run this uh, was because of the temperature coming out of the uh, water geyser. Probably cooled down from the oxygen. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Well then. Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about... I mean, not only because this is now finished. Sopping wet, toasty surroundings, heat stroke. Heat stroke, but not damage. Alright, let's see. Analysis complete. Uh, what do we got? 9 kilograms per second at 9... Oh, it's probably because it's dormant at the moment. Uh, Zaxon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, and Essie, I have the resources to make the science. Is there any reason not to just continuously run zone discovery while I'm sub solving problems with other sciences? No, you should definitely do that if you can afford it. Uh, I would probably, I never got around to it myself, but I would probably recommend, like, just keep going until you discover every zone. Next activity, 45 cycles. Yes, indeed. So that, uh, I don't know if it will output if this is full like this, but that would be when it gets dangerously hot again. Nine kilograms per second of water at 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, 385 seconds every 781 seconds. How long is a cycle in this game? 15... 96 cycles is 15.32 hours. 600 seconds. Okay, so 10 minutes. Um... So... A bit less than... A bit less than 385 times 9 kilograms per day. When looking at just back of the napkin, like 3,000... 3,000 kilograms of water per day that we... We're not, con we're not going to consume anything remotely close to that. If my math's right, then this is an effectively infinite water source. Next activity, 45.2 cycles, though. No, I miss... Okay. Oh, active period. Here we go. 
So that would be if it was always in its active period. Um, 86.4 cycles every 140 cycles. Okay, so more like... Uh... Hold on, 140 over 86, no, 86 over 140, about 61% of our previous estimate. That's still like 1,800-ish, um, 18, was it 18 kilograms or 1,800 kilograms of water per day? Either way, it should be way more than we need for a while. Overpressure, I think will not emit water. Yeah, because we're not... We're letting it uh, sit here. Um, I guess we could start pumping water out for other purposes. That might be a good idea. I could just have... I could have another... Well, no, I don't need another pump. I can just take from here... Except it's quite hot. Hmm. I could... Take the water after it's already come up this far. And... Pump it back down. That would be a little bit of a nuisance. I'd have to dig this. But I kind of would like to cool the water before I bring it back. I, I don't want it steadily warming up our, our base. I guess that's one of the next um, things I need to sort out. Is uh, central cooling, maybe? Run some fluid through pipes going through the whole base, uh, through a cold place, or through something that'll pump the heat out of it. Um, alright. I'm losing track of my goals here. I think I want... What if I put a metal refinery right here? And maybe I should have a room for it. Probably a good idea to build it out of insulated tiles. Good morning, Morpheus Zell. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Refinement. Metal refinery. Right next to the super cooler. Oh, that's... That is indeed more hydrogen. Uh, how about a manual airlock? And... Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Um, how much... How much power is this going to use, actually? And where are we going to get it? 1.2 kilowatts... Uh, I think we need some coal power for this. Coal generator. Produces carbon dioxide. We can deal with that. 1,000 grams per second. Um, we're probably going to want to use smart, uh, some, a smart battery and smart wire, just like we did here. So it's not actually going to produce 1,000 per second. This is 600 kilowatts, so we would need two of these to run metal processing. And we would also need a carbon skimmer. 300 grams per second carbon dioxide gets turned into nothing, basically. But we need water in, polluted water out. This is getting complicated. Uh, is there no other way I can get rid of the carbon dioxide? I guess not. 
I really would prefer for this heat generating thing to be next to our cold uh, heat sapping thing. Carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so what if we had our carbon skimmer down here or something? We can have uh, airflow tile. Also, that's going to be less than optimal power already, because this uses 120 watts. But maybe I can ignore that. Maybe it doesn't have to be a perfect ratio. Uh, we're going to need a battery also. And to do that, I need to make more refined metal. How much do I have? Copper ore, shitloads, actually. 12.5 ton might not be as much as I think it is. Um... Let's just... whoops. What, what did I click? How much do I need? 200 for a battery, right? So it's... 100 kilograms. Oh, this is actually 1,000 kilograms. 10 recipes. Wait, no. It's half of that because we lose half of it. Okay, so 500, that should comfortably be enough for whatever little thing we need to do with this. Why build inside the cold biome if you isolate it from the cold? I don't understand. I usually pump my CO2 into space so it gets deleted. I have no idea where space is, like how far we would have to go for that. What is this? Is this space? I, I, I imagine that is not sp vacuum space prep. Whoa, 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 whoa! Space exposure. Okay, that's a lot closer than I thought it would be. Uh, Tio Griver, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Usually pump my CO2 into space so it gets deleted. So much CO2 gets produced and there's really isn't a use for it all. In the resource list behind see all, you can check some to show them all the time. For example, copper and algae. Yeah, I've, d I've done that with these three. Uh, where is it? What do we got? Um... Where am I going? Uh, I can do a search. Copper? There we go. Is this... That's what I'm looking for. That's fine for now. Where you are looking for space, there is a geyser slash volcano. Uh, how do you know? Also, that's a vending machine. When did we... Oh, this is the peak of where we've searched. I'm surprised how far our vision extends for busting into this little spot. Yeah, so I can either pay... Uh... I can either pay some electricity and turning water into polluted water and some heat to delete carbon dioxide or I could pump it into space but how am I gonna I don't have the means to like construct something to pump this into space right right now because I don't have any suits or anything 
Space exposure piles delete gases, liquids, so make sure airlock. Make sure to airlock them. Yeah, definitely. Right on the left. Right on the left. Oh, this thing. Yeah, there's something here. Telltale neutronium. Right there. Okay, I think... I think for now we'll just get it working with the skimmer. Um, so a couple of coal generators, a uh, battery... Where's the battery? Oh right, we don't have it yet. We need a little bit more copper before it'll let us queue it up. Does this not count? There it is. Your dupes will hold their breath in space and run back inside if they're low on oxygen. Okay. So I can basically treat it just like any other gas hazard in this game, as far as I know. Interesting. Um, let's do a smart battery... It doesn't really matter if I do it here or here, does it? We've, I, I assume we've got a lot of coal at this point. Uh, 41.7 tons. And we can also produce it with... Uh, I guess the way I'm thinking about doing this, I probably don't even really need the two coal generators. On the other hand, they'll act like, uh, one of them will act like another battery. Also, deeps aren't going to be able to reach this just yet. Something like that. Let's just do this for now. Yeah, so we're going to have a couple of coal generators, a battery, uh, a carbon skimmer. Uh, but then we're going to have to pump water. We're going to need fresh... Okay, we've got fresh water right here. And an infinite supply of it at that. So that's not too bad. But then we have to pump the polluted water out somewhere. Um, I don't particularly... It's beginning to sound like, even though this is a, a step beyond where I feel like I'm up to, it might just be easier to dig all the way to space. Um, to pump the carbon dioxide out. Also... I'm gonna need a gas filter unless I want to pump the oxygen out as well. Alright, um, before I do this... Let's plan out and see if we've got enough room. So we're going to have a couple of coal generators. We're going to have a... I guess we need a gas pump. Uh, carbon dioxide is going to come down this way, so... This should naturally have oxygen up here. But that said... I think we want to spit out any oxygen that gets picked up here. I wish that tile was available. It's fine. 
Um, do I need to use, like, insulated pipes or anything? It actually just costs more of the same stuff. I don't think we will. Alright, so all of the gas is going to go in here. Um, this one is going to be carbon, di uh, carbon dioxide. And this one's going to be everything else. Carbon dioxide is going to go all the way up here. And I guess we should start digging. A path. I want to know what this is as well. And we'll use this vacuum right here, I guess. Or are we going to run into vacuum before we get to this gap? Should I maybe put an airlock? Uh, like this. Also, do we need any of those special tiles yet? I don't think so. Carbon skimmers are nice, but they really shine when you are in need of polluted water. Yeah, I know polluted water is a, a very good coolant um, or thermofluid because the freezing point is negative 20. Um... You can do better than that, but uh, polluted water is very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's everywhere. Salt water, freezing point negative 7.5. Uh, I guess we could use that too. But there's really no need. No need for bunker doors or tiles. Okay. So just regular tiles here. Actually, maybe a little bit lower. How much space do those spacesuit station things co uh, cost us? And where do I find it? Stations? Jet suit checkpoint. That is huge. Atmos suit is very narrow, but three, three tiles tall. Stores Atmos suits and refuels them with oxygen. Empty suits of polluted water. Atmos suit checkpoint is quite large, actually. Or I think it's just... Is it actually just this, like, one by three? Okay, whatever the case, uh, I think just in case I want to add that kind of stuff later, we'll do something like this. Functions as a manual airlock when no power is available. What does this cost? Just double what this does. Requires 120 watts for automatically opening. I think we'll do that too, so I don't have to replace it later if I hook up some solar panels to it or something. Um, so that, I imagine, is probably going to be enough space to do like a suit dock or something. Um, and we'll leave the... We'll leave room for whatever this is up here. Alright, that is going to be a construction project and a half. And I guess I'll run this through here. Are they going to be able to reach that? Yeah, it's only three tiles tall.
Cool. Oh, wow, wow. How long has this been waiting? We got curative tablets. Or some fungal spores. We've already got... I thought that was a very large number, but it actually has a decimal. 22.26127 fungal spores available. It's just one. That's that's a no. Oh, and skills. I haven't done skills for a while. Um, we've got an aspiring exosuit user who is also a digger. Yes, please. Uh, I just realized I forgot. Let me just fix this real quick. I forgot to swap my channel rewards uh, for oxygen not included for today. Let's see. Dashboard. Viewer rewards, channel points, and no name in base. Pawn named after you. Fantastic. Alright, cool. Now where were we? Adder? Um... I don't know. We've already done everything you're passionate about. I guess you could wear exosuits. I don't see why not. Is it bad to have only, like, one morale over what's required? Is it going to make her closer to getting upset? Uh, Ari is... Has a lot of spare. Yes, it is bad. Okay. Harry has a lot of spare morale. And medicine compounding is basically free. So let's do that. Was it Harry? Harry. Uh, operating? That's machinery. Well, it's still better than neutral. Digging, farming, operating, doctoring, sure. Uh, Bean? Um, I might just leave Bean where he is. For now. We'll definitely grab Soup Sustainability Training. This one, Ben Wu. Bubbles is... Both a digger and a builder. I guess you could benefit from athletics, but you've only got three morale as it is, so that can stay. Hurt is a hauler. So we'll definitely go for some athletics. And some more athletics. Fantastic. Meep. Uh, electrical engineering, sure, fantastic. Also, what's the... Oh, you're already wearing the advanced medical. Bonus have different time before disappears, so you get in the risk to have less morale for a while. I think I see what you mean. Uh, who did I just skill up? I want to check the meep. Priorities... Meat. Uh, that's fine. Morpheus, improved carrying. It's practically free. Fantastic. Otto, uh, you've got plenty of morale. Why not exoscoot? Quinn, improved tinkering is literally free. Rowan, advanced medical care, certainly. 
cheap same. I wish I could see from this screen what their priorities are set to at least, so I don't so I know if I don't have to make a change there. Uh sheep say meh, grilling is free. Steve uh is our only artist. And oh you can actually do Masterworks now. Sure, why not? Belbeck, you're already a scientist and a griller. I guess you could be a plumber as well. That's all of your passions. Uh, that's a lot of spare morale. You've also got one skill point. So we'll definitely head towards exosuit, uh, exosuit training. Is this the Spaced Out DLC? Nope, I don't have it yet. This is kind of, sort of, my first playthrough. Uh, I've played it before, but I haven't gotten that far. Really? Uh, Whiskers? I don't see why not. And Sheep Say Mare Grilling. How did I miss this before? Easy. I don't know what else to do with me. Uh, I guess we'll head towards mechatronics engineering. Definitely no harm in getting a bit of carrying capacity. Bubbles only has three morale. Let's keep it there. Uh, Bean. I don't really see what else we're going to do with Bean. Add a... That can wait. Alright, this is fine. Why are these plants getting upset? Pressure. Oh, there's no oxygen. Oh, there's no oxygen. Okay, our oxygen supply from up here is not good enough yet. Um, let's get some more algae. Can I farm algae? Let's see. Algae. Algae terrarium consumes algae to produce oxygen. This is just like the diffuser, but worse because it makes polluted water and carbon dioxide. Algae distiller, here we go. Refines slime into algae, 600 grams per second, 120 watts. Also makes polluted water. Um, did I not make that down here? I did not. Maybe I could put it here? Hey, you are that guy from Mike. Nice to see you in my recommended. Uh, BHV. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was I looking for again? Algae distillery. Here we go. Uh, we can just barely fit it. We need to harvest slime, uh, to feed it in any case. I guess there's no reason not to do that over here. Uh, what were my other options, if any? Gulp fish. Well, that just consumes algae. Just, uh, this is actually the only thing that produces it. Slime turns into algae plus polluted water. Okay. Is there anything that produces slime? Consumed by... produced by... a puffed prince. Turns polluted oxygen into slime. 3,000 grams per cycle. 
judging by the numbers and the graphic, this is a much rarer version of the puffed. 30 kilograms of cycle polluted oxygen becomes 3 kilograms of slime versus 50 becomes 47.5 kilograms. Oh, wait, that's way less. Algae is a temporary thing because a long-term solution with algae is so complicated. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just slap down a distillery. And... Uh, what's its input? Uh, slime plus power. Oh, oh, the pipe is liquid output. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that goes here. Pipe. That'll work. Puff farm, slime, algae, you need something like four puff for every dupe. Rip. Okay, our food supply, uh, our food storage is actually getting a little too full for now. That's good. Our oxygen supply is not looking as good. Is there any algae here? There is. Where else can I take algae from directly? Is your hydrogen blocking it, perhaps? My hydrogen? This thing? Oh, the electrolyzer? No, it, it's working. I just don't know if either it's not enough for the colony or we just haven't, um, we just haven't gotten all of this air down here yet. Not much of it is getting past that particular gas vent right now, which means that we're not at maximum pressure here, which means we're probably not producing enough for the colony with this machine. Maybe I could double it. Um, we don't need another liquid pump. We could get another electrolyzer and two more gas pumps. Um, I don't know if that would be too much for a gas pipe right here. All of this isn't actually a problem because it's just cycling hydrogen around. I think it's not a problem. The storage really isn't working the way I would like it to um, because... If we, if we actually got saturated with hydrogen here before it starts filling up the tanks, uh, it's actually going to block the gas filter from outputting the hydrogen, I think. How do I shape it so that it actually works? One electrolyzer equals eight tubes. Okay. So if I double it, it's almost enough for the colony, because dupes aren't the only things consuming oxygen, I think. What is that? Oh, someone's been sticker bombing. One dupe, 100 grams a second, one electro, 888. Okay. I could... Hmm. 
I could add a, another gas filter that comes off of these other two gas pumps. And have it go through the storage first. Only if the electrolyzer works with 90% uptime. Yeah. It seems to be. Oh, oh, it's happening already. So... So these storages are actually useless. Because of the way the fluid cycles in this game. How do I actually use them? If I had, like, uh, let's say I had this here, and the hydrogen went straight into this thing, and then through here and out into this, it's still gonna have basically the same problem, right? Eventually it's, yeah, I, I think we need to not have a loop, but eventually it's going to have the problem of this thing's not going to output because we're full on hydrogen, or hydrogen is not going to output because we're full on oxygen, but that looks a long way out. You can select the electrolyzer under propriety? You can check how much is working. Uh, properties. This cycle, 60... 64%. That's pretty bad. Okay. We definitely need to reshape these pipes. I want it to go to the storage first. And then we're not going to have a loop, otherwise it's just not going to work. So... Get rid of... Output? We can have these two in series. And then... And then this goes... here. Well, no, that's the loop again. Uh, I want... I guess... Yeah, we're going to have to put the hydrogen generator behind the gas reservoirs. So... That's going to go... Hmm... I'm going to end up releasing some hydrogen if I'm not careful. You can play around with bridges to force priority on the line. That way the created is always taken before the stuff in the game. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's think about this. Bridges. Basically one-way gas pipes. Hmm. How does that help with this current spaghetti, that is? We could still have a loop. We just have to have a one way away from the gas filter that goes into the storage. And then we have a loop so it can... 
yeah, I, I think, I think that's okay. So, we just... Something like... Well, let's see what this does. Something like this. Oh. Oh, it's already... Okay. What? Uh-oh, uh who's suffocating? What are you doing here? Okay, you are supplying. And apparently that's enough air for you to breathe. You are a hardy little fellow. Okay, that distraction over. Let's see what we've got up here. That did not take long to get done. Wow. Um, alright, so let's see. Uh, hydrogen goes this way. We're actually getting some in the tank. I think with the way it's working, we're never gonna... Uh, this is gonna have to be full before we get any in the generator. So we want to change these pipes a little bit. Um... It's kind of awkward to do these in series. Let's see. Let's just remove that first. And then we'll go from there. Who's coming? Nobody? Is it bedtime? No? Well, now it's bedtime. If another output pipe is connected at the bridge's input, the gas will exclusively flow through the bridge until its output is full. This is unlike the normal branching where it's split 50-50. Okay, so... So, at a branch, a bridge is a priority output. Conversely, if another input pipe is connected at the bridge's output, the gas from the bridge will be blocked until the other input pipe is empty. So, in that case, uh, the non-bridge is a priority input. Okay. Uh, a little tricky to remember, but definitely useful. Um, I definitely did this part wrong. Or did I? I don't think anyone's queued to come and do this right now, but... So what I want to do is... This goes to here. Get rid of these two. Get rid of this. And I guess... They don't have to be in series. We could just split it to both of them and then have the outputs... I can't put a bridge here, right? No. We could do it this way. I, I think I need to remove this to get rid of the T-intersection there. And then... If I, if I still want it to be a loop, I could do it like that. Let's try it as a loop first. I, I want to see what it does. The flow logic in the game isn't always straightforward, indeed. With bridges, you can direct the H to first to go to the generator and then the rest of the storage. Yeah, I want all of what's in storage to be accessible by the generator. Okay. Don't need this. 
Actually, I do want that. Uh, that actually looks to be exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm sorry. Also, I forgot... Uh... We were supposed to be just designing with that. Well, this is a fine mess. Let's get the mop. Oh no. That turned out to be more fluid than I thought it would be. Alright, what do we got? That is looking pretty good. That's looking very good, actually. And that means our oxygen is being produced more consistently now. Uh, I do remember that most of this oxygen that we see right here is a product of getting algae again. Speaking of which, is this thing working? Uh, we can see it's uptime. Yeah, there we go. So that is our algae from slime. And I think the next thing we want to do here is double all of this. How fast can our gas filter go? Do I need another one if I double this part? Gas filter. Uh, doesn't really say. I suppose it's just bottlenecked on what the pipe can do. All gases. Uh, okay. What about this? Doesn't say. What if I click on this? 1000 grams of oxygen. Doesn't really tell us anything about throughput. Hmm. I get the feeling we're going to need another one, if only because of the pipe bottleneck. Two electrolyzers fills two pipes equals two filters. Okay, 1,000 the same as pipes. All right. Uh, Canapmax, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Isn't that algae distiller output going wrong, dumping polluted water into the clean water, we're filtering it, um, right here, we're filtering polluted water back into the water sieve, and it comes back into here as clean water, okay, Uh, looks like we're almost done. Oh, I can actually put... No, I can't. Are they going to be able to build this? Probably not. That's a bit of a nuisance. Uh, I guess I could deconstruct this temporarily. Okay, so if we do this... I shouldn't have removed that airlock. 
One, two, and three. Water pipe. Goes here. Air pipe. Oh, well, we're going to need room for a filter again. I could just do it over here. Potentially. Yeah, I think that's fine, actually. So, something like this. If I do it in a straight line, it's going to misbehave. So we need, like, a T intersection like that. And then bridge over this. Gas filter. Can't just do it like that, can I? That plant is... Wait, what is this? It'll need irrigation and fertilization if I move it, so I don't want to change that. I was just going to put this here. It would have been... Pretty convenient fit, actually. So, bridge like this, pipe like this, and like this, and like this. And then some insulated tiles. These are already pretty insulated. Uh, we need more power. Actually, wait. Uh, we either need better... Better, um, wires? We do have conductive wire researched. This can do two kilowatts. This will potentially break after a thousand. And we're gonna have 1600 kilowatts on this circuit if I make it one circuit. Um, if I make it a second circuit, that's got its own problems. I would have to spend metal on this and this. Um, so yeah, I think I will upgrade. That's going to be a lot as well, because this goes all the way down here. Hmm. Let's maybe get our metal thing going first. Priority four. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And this build is also going to take its sweet time. We'll continue running off of algae um, and slime for oxygen for now. But we've got our plans in motion uh, to double our infinite supply of oxygen. like they'll be able to reach. Fantastic. And we're actually gaining hydrogen faster than expected. I guess I'll have to well, what other uses do we have? I was going to say I'll have to use it for power in other places, but I'm sure there's other... We can make it solid? I'm sure there's other uses for it. Consumed by hydrogen generator, produced by electrolyzer. 
Not what I was expecting. What about as a solid? Who... Who was suffocating? Probably this guy. Alright, I think we're fine. Um... Liquid hydrogen? No. Alright, I think we want to keep a store of hydrogen here as a priority to run this self-sustaining oxygen producer slash thing what consumes hydrogen to cool the place. Uh, and then we want to export the surplus of hydrogen to run whatever down here. H2 rocket engine, but that is later. Ooh. Um. But yeah. We're not, run we're not filling up with hydrogen that quickly. But I, I have to think about it. Overheat 75 degrees. Don't think that's going to be a problem. If I build it here. It does produce heat though, doesn't it? Whoops, whoops, whoops. 4,000 DTUs of heat. Uh, is that like some magical source of heat or cold from these biomes? Or if I insulate here, is it going to... Let's find out, I suppose. Uh, is that insulated? No. Five by five. we built this already? Pretty much. Can get rid of the ladders in any case. Alright, so let's put our metal refiner back. Metal refinery? I can't do it until they remove this. Thank you. Metal refinery... Uh, and then two coal plants. And then carbon dioxide comes down here. We suck it up, output carbon dioxide to space. Everything else comes back into the room. And then we need some power and a smart battery. Wait, how much power is this? Refinement. Uh, metal refinery. 1.2 kilowatts. Yeah, so we definitely need the, um, the good stuff. Conductive wire. It's gonna be, theoretically, peak 1.36 kilowatts. Um, let's get a battery. Where does the smart circuitry in the middle? And I think it's on the right for this. No, it's on the left. So these two will line up at least.
How far does our gas thing go? Not far enough. Also, do I really want this to be... Does the... does this thing consume oxygen? No, it just produces carbon dioxide. Still, I think if dupes go in here and use this space, eventually it would run out of oxygen, right? So I think we want to pump some in from here. Or... I could just connect these? Question mark? Are we going to end up with too much pressure from oxygen to produce the CO2 and get rid of it? That room will run out of oxygen at some point, yeah. But if I fill it with oxygen, will the coal generators actually fail to work? Uh, let's get our automation wire, like so. Get one of these. Uh, this job is a lower priority, though. Uh, Sloda, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Lars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Has anyone ever told you that you have such a calm voice? I really enjoy listening to the stream. Thank you very much. I have heard something to that effect before. I kind of want to do some voice training to try and make it even better, if that makes sense. Uh, we got a pip egg times two. We've already got one pip. Uh, what do they do again? Overcrowded glum. Wait, why are there two in here? Have they bred? I don't recall getting two pip eggs. Um, let's... Let's mark these doors as open. Oh, I think... Do these storage bins allow eggs? They don't. How did this happen? Why are there so many critters in here? Or, I think we may have brought shine bugs in before because the other options were bad. But I don't know why there's a Draco here. CO2 generators have a much higher pressure limit than the vent. Okay, cool. The whole ice biome is getting turned into our weird outpost thing. Get some more of this. Make sure we don't run out. Since that's our supply of oxygen. Pawn named after you, Nerita. Any preferences? I trust you've got the base heat under control now? No, we haven't gotten around to heat yet. I think it's slowly warming up as well. Just a random one? Okay. Uh, vitals? Let's see. Ada doesn't have a name yet. Nerita? N-E-R-I-T-A-R. -E there we go. Fantastic. So what are your skills again? Let's see. Narita. Uh, 
look very good athletics, very good strength. A plumber and a hauler. Fantastic. Uh, is water getting low here? Maybe we should find a way to cool this water. Pump it in. Me too, Carenza. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just the first one that doesn't have a name again. Otto. Carenza. You are one of our farmers. Keep up the good work. AETN is not working at the moment. It's a problem with the routing. Um, well, it's not actually hot enough here yet to run the AETN. Um, I also haven't got, like... I haven't got a system... I'm thinking maybe I should do... Let's see, where is it? I guess I, I, guess I should hurry up with this project. Is it radiant? Extreme temperature exchange with the surrounding environment. Okay. Uh, that costs... That costs refined metal. Maybe not yet. Um, we could do regular pipe down here. Insulated pipe from up here. Uh, and we could pump fluid around in a cycle that goes past this. It should work. Uh, what should... I'm just looking at all that ice and wondering about running liquid through radiant pipes around there. Insulated down to base and pumped around there. Yeah. Um, I was sort of hoping I could get all the way to a steam turbine. Um, to steal the heat from the base with, what is it called? Uh, utilities? No. Yeah, here it is. Thermo Aqua Tuna. Cools the liquid piped through it, but outputs heat in its immediate vicinity. But at this rate, I think the base is going to overheat before I get there. Um, so we can do... We could do some more basic methods of cooling, maybe? Ice E fan uses ice to dissipate a small amount of heat. Duplicant operation. Mm, that's not great. Thermo regulator cools the gas piped through it, but outputs heat in its immediate vicinity. Ice maker converts water into ice. Um. You can probably cool down with your oxygen. I was thinking that um, it comes it comes out here. At, I mean, in the pipes here, it's at what twenty four degrees, negative twenty one degrees. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, oxygen at twenty three point seven degrees is a certain weight. Interesting. Um, so we've got negative five, negative 25 degree oxygen here, negative 21, negative 21 rather, negative eight. It says it's polluted, 23 degrees, 41 degrees, 50, hmm. Maybe all I need to do is convert some of this to insulated pipe. Um, that alone would help. C. 
so theoretically after they change that we should get some nice cool air coming out up here. And when I say nice and cool, I mean like some really aggressive air conditioning. Don't allow it to be too cool either. Uh-oh. We'll see. How's our other project going? Um, automation wire. We don't have this yet. I think we might be... It did allow us to queue this up, but maybe we actually don't have enough copper? gonna take a while. It's not creating as many jobs as I feared it would, upgrading those pipes. There's a print as well. Uh, I looked at this already. I forgot to pick it because I noticed the critters were stuck here. We probably have too many hatches now, don't we? Overcrowded glum. Age 7, 25, 26, 26, 7, 7. They're all so young. Did some of them die of old age? Combat? Oh, right. That's what this is. Let's mop up this crap. And this. And this. Get rid of that. Might need a drowning room. Oh no. No one wants to know how the hamburger is made. We've got a whole bunch of liquid here as well. What a mess. Oh yeah, there's not enough water to supply the pitcher pump. Should probably do something about that. Um, we do have all swept water coming here. But not sure what to do about the rest of it. Mop, I say. If I spread this out, they should be able to mop, the, mop up the rest of it. Did I up the priority on this? I did not. Actually... I 
didn't mean to do that. Construction only. Priority six. Uh, but I think I do want this thing to be a slightly higher priority than normal. In fact, I'll probably make it priority nine once we get to actually using it. Finally, can't even mop that up. Is this... Why is this like purple and stuff? Contents empty... 28 degrees? Oh! Oh, it's different color because it's insulated now. Okay, cool. Is that what this is? It is. Okay. As your ice biome gets hotter, it will melt more and more. Water will drop down regularly. Ah, uh, good point. I could keep this thing a bit cooler. As long as it's not so cold that it freezes our water pipe. What temperature is it here? It's still negative 25 though. Uh, negative 21 though. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe we should set this a little bit more... Aggressively? We can actually see the anti-entropy thermo nullifier working. And working it is. How quickly is it going to cool things down though? Uh, kind of quickly actually. Negative 24 and a half. Okay, there's gonna be like a limit to how cold it can make things though, right? Oh, did we get this done? Yeah, we did. Okay, what are we setting this to? Uh, high threshold, 99, low threshold, 10, and I didn't actually connect, I didn't actually connect it to the battery yet. Okay, um, that is super high priority, please. AETN is very weak. How, how quickly does it consume? Oh yeah, 10 per second. Yeah, that's right. I calculated that we should have a surplus even when we're using this. Nice to have, but don't rely on it. But by then you'll have steam and water thingy. Okay, cool. I thought it would be super strong, considering it's... Um, like this rare building that we can't make. Oh, we already got that done. Fantastic. Uh, why don't we make... In fact, if there's still jobs down here, let's stop them. There is not. Why don't we make some metal without losing half of it? Uh, Alright, so 100 kilo becomes 100 kilo. Fantastic. I should probably just make this... Like, as I need it, right? Because we can't... It's not like we can convert it back the other way. Let's see what... Uh, let's see how much heat this generates. Awaiting coolant? No liquid. Uh-oh. 
I overlooked that this time. Refinement. Uh, metal refinery. Liquid intake, liquid output. Significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it. Hmm. What if we could... Steal from this water. It's already hot, though. What if we take this water, put it in a fluid storage next to the anti-entropy thermo nullifier? Uh, I wish I'd thought of this before. But here will do, I suppose. Actually, is it in danger of freezing if I put it there? It'll heat up the serene surroundings way more than the gas. Water has a much higher heat capacity than gas. Okay. Um, maybe I should take some polluted water. Oh, we're already at negative 40 degrees here? What are we here? Negative 23. Huh. Uh, that temperature drop-off is rather quick. Mm -hmm. What am I going to use for coolant? And where am I going to get it? And where am I going to output it to? It's going to cycle... Is it going to cycle the coolant without losing any? Or are we going to need a constant, albeit slow, input? Uh, what are we... How does this work? There we go. Um, it doesn't really say... You are destroying heat by doing the conversion from water to oxygen slash hydrogen. Is that so? Uh, yeah, I can only guess that it doesn't actually lose any of the water. What if we just pump some in initially and then have it loop here? Why doesn't it let me... Oh, right. Mm, what I really want is some polluted water. What was the other fluid? No, it was, uh, salt water. It doesn't go as cold. And we would also have to go in and get it. Uh, I don't suppose there's something like a bottle emptier, but to put fluid into a pipe network? Pitcher pump, bottle emptier. There is not. Okay. So we'll just have to do a temporary pump somewhere. this. We got a sun lamp. That's a lot of power. 
window tile? Used to build the walls and floors of rooms. Allows light and decor to pass through. Okay. Missing resources transparent. Whatever we do, we're going to have a pipe output to input and input to output. And then we just need to, I guess I could be lazy and just try it with water. And then if we see it freeze, we see it freeze. It'll. I think it'll spit out the frozen water, like it did before. Then again, if this right here is negative 40, even the polluted water might freeze, if that's the case. Then again, maybe this will gener enough, generate enough heat for that not to be an issue. This really reminds me of my first playthrough. <laughs> Indeed. Refinery doesn't lose coolant mass, but be very careful with the hot stuff that's coming out. Do not reuse it without heavy cooling. Well, we do have this. Um, if we're really keen, I could put uh, there's like a liquid thermo sensor, surely. Hydro sensor. Liquid pressure enters the chosen range. Duplicate. Okay, there's only one kind of thermo sensor, it looks like. Hmm. Let's just try this. I'm sure something bad's gonna happen, but let's learn. I want some pipe to come up here. Actually, maybe I should have it go straight into the reservoir. We just have to cut it off before it fills up. Or, I don't know if it'd even be a problem if it fills up. If I recall correctly, the liquid reservoir is perfectly isolated from the surrounding area, but not sure. Perfectly isolated. We've still got quite a few um, jobs that need doing. The air is still coming... Oh, right. They haven't done the most important part of upgrading this to insulated pipe. So I think it's actually bringing more heat down than it was before. Mostly because it's coming past the water geyser. I wish we had more builders. I want to steal water from up here that's been cooled, but I'm not exactly sure how to regulate the temperature. Now we're getting somewhere. Nothing is perfectly isolated except for the things between biomes. As I play very prudent and conservative, I am 
butt clenching. <laughs> uh huh. All right, we finally got the uh, uh, the insulated gas pipe upgrade. So it stops being insulated up here where it's nice and cool. Um, so hopefully, hopefully the temperature that we're sending oxygen down. It's 0.4 degrees here. Let's see, if I pause it here, some of the warm air should be left over. So this is 27, 29, 28, 27, 29, negative 4. That was a sudden drop. 24. Wait, what? Why is it all over the place? Hold on. Let's let it run a little bit longer. 40 degrees almost. What? What? Hold on. This is negative 5 degrees. Negative 14. Negative 7. Negative 15. 7.4. 19. 19. 24. Where is this heat coming from? Nani? That is very weirdly inconsistent. Looking at the surrounding air sometimes, not the pipe content. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Negative 7.5. It doesn't... It's not telling me here. It says it's empty. Uh, negative 3. Negative 0.6. Negative 1.8 almost exactly zero. Point four. Uh, 27 degrees? Empty. Wait, no, it's 27 outside. Empty. Negative point five. All right, cool. So it is belching out cold air now. Fantastic. Let's finish our projects that we've already got. And then we might look at taking some of the water from the water geyser and cooling it before we bring it down here somehow. Oh, wait. Speaking of water, is that already full? Oh, we haven't built this. Oh no, how are we going to build it? I don't want to remove the metal refinery again, so I think we're just going to dig into here. Um, yeah, that filled up quickly. I'm not terribly surprised. Negative 3.6 degrees. Okay, that's good. 60 degrees. That's surprisingly hot. Oh, right, because it came from here. And yet the reservoir is at negative 3.6. Alright, let's get rid of these pipes. Or maybe I should keep these as they are, and I could add a bridge somewhere. Like, add a split from that with a thermo sensor. Do I seriously not have a way to directly measure the temperature of the water? Gas element sensor. Germ, critter, weight plate. Logic gates, liquid element sensor, specific liquid presence, wattage, cycle, what is cycle? Day-night cycle. Uh, yeah, it's just...
It's just the external thermo sensor. Hmm. Check plumbing tab. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Liquid shutoff, liquid valve, liquid pipe elements, liquid pipe thermo sensor. Thank you. That is what I'm looking for. Just destroy the last bridge and rebuild uh, it if needed. Thermo sensor for pipes is in plumbing. Yes, indeed. Uh, Abby and Light. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, so, in that case, can I... What's the temperature in the pipes? 60 degrees. That's not what we're looking for. Maybe we already need to build... Uh, was it under utilities? Cools the liquid piped through it, but outputs heat. Yeah, 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 this is what we need. I can actually just put it up here. It doesn't seem like it has to be on the floor or anything. Uh, I can rotate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Doesn't even need refined metal, although it's kind of expensive. 1.2 tons of copper? Overheat temperature, thermally reactive. Okay. Um, I guess we... Do I need to break this right here before I build this thing, or will it, like, sort itself out? If I build this thing here, it won't have that one piece of pipe still connected. Remind me, is it worth having the aqua tuna sitting in a puddle? Uh, good question. Alright, so we're going to output our heat from the aqua tuna directly above the thermo nullifier. Um, we're going to... We're going to be needing a thermo sensor. Firstly, to decide if we need to cool it, which we probably almost always do. Secondly, um, secondly, what? Liquid shut off? I would like to output water to somewhere else only if it's cool enough. You can run a steam turbine off an aqua tuna's heat. Yes, I intend to. But I don't have... Oh, wait, I do now, don't I? I just needed refined metal. Oh, no, I need plastic. Okay. That's not going to be for a little while. But my goal here is just coolant for the metal refinery and or getting some cool water down here. Maybe it would be easier to put this up here. Just how quickly is it going to cool it? I could have a couple of them in series. Is that overkill? I could move the uh, vent if necessary. It'll melt the ice around it. Mm. All right, let's just build one and see how aggressive it is. And we want thermo sensor. And I actually want this to serve two purposes. It's going to turn our thermo aqua tuna on and off. And it's also... 
It's also going to act as our decision maker for whether we let some fluid go down here. That's the idea at least. Liquid valve, that's manual isn't it? Yeah, liquid shut off, here we go. Um, I could probably put it here. Aquatuna lowers the temperature for 15 degrees. Doesn't care what liquid. Okay. Uh, we need, like, several of them, if that's the case. Uh, let's just run this and see what we get. We also need power. Um, I guess... How much power does the Aquatuna use? 1.2 kilowatt. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um. Maybe we could just leech off of this grid for that. No, that's going to push it beyond 2 kilowatts sometimes, theoretically. It's 60% of what one of these sets of wires can take. What about if we do heavy duty? Uh, it can do 20 kilowatts. It can't go through walls. I would have to get rid of this and use one of these. That might be okay. Uh, heavy what conductive wire? What's this? Skill electrical engineering, 50 kilowatts. It's four times as expensive as conductive wire, but we can actually just... I was gonna say we could run it through here, but that's not quite right. Just Jack, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In that case, um... Is there any reason not to just use heavy? Wait, what? Oh, this is the heavy... St no, wait. Heavy what wire? Heavy what conductive wire? Oh. Oh, this is that, but even better. But it's not like that, but even better. Okay. Yeah, so this is... This is cheap stuff. We can actually get some of our refined metal back. Not quite. We would have to do this. Can I... Can I not perform that surgery? I think it's because the... Why can't I cancel this? There we go. I think it's because the airflow tile is there. Can I remove the airflow tile? It'll probably make the coal generator... No, the coal generator is going to be in the way, I think. No? It'll let us do this. Or this. Joint plate needs a free field for the connectors. Okay, so it's lying to me when it says this will work, apparently. Mm. What a nuisance. Heavy what conductivity joint plate? That's... oh, that's for this stuff. Mm. What if we... What if we just... The green connector for the goal generator is blocking it, yeah. You can't stack... Oh, coal generator, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, will it actually let me just put this here? 
Let's find out. That would solve the problem, if so. We got another print ready. Barbecue. Fantastic. Is that water still not full? Oh, that's how full it is. Okay. That's fine. Uh, can we get this built so that I can see if it works, please? Wait, what? Oh, we made some metal out of this already, even though... Even though the coolant loop isn't finished. I didn't mean to remove that pipe, obviously. Oh, okay, that did work. Nice, 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 nice. Heavy watt wire, nice and cheap, nice and easy. And this goes here. We need to get rid of this. And then... Another one of these. Through here. That doesn't work that way. This is fine. The metal is from demolishing your power wire. Oh, okay. No, it's still there. Yeah, I don't think I demolished anything of the sort here before. Although it is 5 kilograms, so... No, that's snow. Copper, 100 kilograms. Yeah, no, I think we got a recipe done here. We did. Fantastic. Alright, I don't particularly care if the two coal generators can't quite do all of this at once. Um, but it, it, practically it'll be enough to get some some refineries, uh, some metal refined. What does this, what's this require? Invalid build location? Why is this an invalid build location? Is it because of the... Surely it's not the wire. This appears to be a valid build location. Needs a floor. Well, that's misleading. Can't have it floating. Okay. Uh, so now we need this pipe. To go up here, I guess. Does it matter? Well, I guess it has to go through here now. Is there a way to deconstruct just this joint right here? as opposed to removing a tile and then putting it back. Not without a mod, okay. And remove those. Actually, I'll leave that ice there. If I see that this is melted, it tells us that this got kind of hot at some point. Wouldn't play without it? Okay. Well, maybe one playthrough first. Can they reach this? Yeah, they've been building this. They wouldn't be able to reach the ceiling. Oh, and now the... 
now the vent that I moved is in the wrong place if I want to double this. Unfortunate. Maybe I should loop the water so that it doesn't have to go through uh, the metal refinery necessarily to get cooled down. Hmm. So... Like that, actually? The thing that I just cancelled? Wait, no, that's not quite right. I do want this to go here. I definitely want to cool whatever comes out of the refinery. And then... Maybe a bridge? So that it's one way up this way? But then... How does it work again? Is it... If a bridge meets a pipe that's already there, the pipe that's already there is the higher priority, right? As opposed to if we have this, the bridge is the higher priority. Always play with that mod. What I don't understand is why the devs don't integrate it. Did we get this built? Uh, looks like... We did? I don't see a whole lot of coal here, though. We've got 43 tons of coal. Fuel request threshold. Uh... 99%. Please bring some coal. and make it a high priority. And when is this getting built? Priority, construction, all of it please. Would eliminate the need for manual labor, which is kind of breaking the point of the game, if y'all are talking about liars. Uh, bow shop. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Our airlock is starting to get built. All right, we finally got our Aquatuna slowly being constructed. So I imagine I'm going to want a couple of these in series at least. I might have to change the shape of the pipes to make that happen. Uh, I wish it was a bit closer to the Thermo Nullifier. How's our gas? There's none in the tanks, but there's plenty in the pipes. Okay. We're not in danger of the hydrogen generator not working or anything. Uh, let's mop up this crap. Yep. Actually, leave that there. What a mess. At least that is contributing to us not running out of water until I can get things working. Alright, there's our pipe blocked. So it is powered. Pipe blocked, you say. In that case...
yeah, it's definitely time to get rid of our bridge. How can I tell it to get rid of just the bridge? I guess there might not be a way to do that. Pencil deconstruct. Liquid bridge. Liquid pipe. There we go. Select the bridge. Yeah. Uh, something is wrong with this picture. The bridge is wrong? What do you mean? Can I... I don't suppose I need to empty this a little bit, do I? We, if I do an if do, if I do an aquatuna like, is that backward? Oh no, I think it's I think I think our aquatuna is backward. Oh no. Yep. I was gonna ask though. With this pipe in a line here, if I build an aqua tuna like this, is is water going to flow past it still, or is it going to automatically change that? Hmm. Still waiting on delivery for this hydrogen generator. I guess that's not that surprising. I keep adding jobs. Oh, that didn't take long. Much quicker to deconstruct it uh, than to build it. Water will flow through the second Aquatuna, but it will be chilled again. Okay. How's our oxygen? Oh, fantastic. Probably because we've got algae still. We've got 6.8 tons. Since the input and output pipe were connected. Yeah, that's what I meant. So I think if I want another one, I have to go to the trouble of deconstructing this or it won't quite work, work properly, right? this. Oh, that was a bad idea. Polluted oxygen is not getting out because there's too much oxygen here. Maybe this door should be open. Eh. Also, I probably shouldn't have... Instead of this, I should have something like this. I can't fit that there. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Uh, won't that result in... The initial problem of the room will slowly run out of oxygen, though. Can't win. It actually flips the position of the power connector as well. 
I'll put that there ahead of time in case I want to make another aqua tuna. I guess if I put two of them in series, even if it's way too much power, um, it'll just bottleneck on having enough power. But it'll still cool all of the fluids that go through by 30 degrees, question mark. Pipe blocked. Okay. So once this starts cycling... What is this? Work errand? Repair errand? Why is there a repair errand? It will probably get blocked since the output. We'll see two potential paths. Good point, yeah. Um... Wait, what is damaged? It doesn't seem to be focused on... It's liquid pipe. Why does this liquid pipe have a repair errand? The water in them is freezing solid? 2.2 degrees, negative 1, 3.3... Oh, it's working. Takes a while to fill up the fluid. Oh, oh, and this this thing. What's 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 getting broken here? Liquid pipe. Sixty one degrees. Uh properties. Melting point is a bit hotter than that. I mean, it could probably get damaged before it melts. Uh, where can we see how hot it should or shouldn't get? Hmm. So the water in here is... 61 degrees, and this is 76 degrees. It is wise to always couple thermo aqua tuners with a steam pocket below a steam turbine. Yeah, I don't have what I need to make a steam turbine, otherwise I'd love to do that. Uh, that that's the thing, this is why I didn't get that far when I played Oxygen Not Included before, because... Like, something like Factorio, no matter how complicated it gets, that looks cool, no matter how complicated Factorio gets, um, with the exception of, like, uh, Arcospheres in the Space Exploration mod, you only have to learn a piece, a little piece at a time. What's this? A steam vent. Uh, good to know, but maybe I should have... Put a door there first, actually. Um, but with, like, this part of the game in Oxygen not included, you just run into several things you have to figure out that are complicated all at the same time while your dupes are slowly cooking alive. And I still... I've, I've still never actually seen the biome where I would be getting plastic from. For example. Well said. I need to change that bot thing when I play different things. So, I would imagine oil is further down, question mark? It's not necessarily a reason that that would be the case. Um, let's go down this way, I guess. Is that hydrogen? That is hydrogen.
I forgot you need plastic for steam turbines. Yeah, otherwise I would have been getting started on it by now. Or at least planning it. Oops, I didn't mean to pause it there. So, I think with only one thermo aqua tuna, this loop of water is just going to keep getting hotter, right? Unless we don't do refining jobs that often, and we just let the thermo nullifier run for long enough. How hot does it have to get coming in for it to be a serious problem? Hmm. Well, whatever the case, we'll take our time refining metal, I suppose. Generally get my early plastic from ranching glossy Dracos. It'll damage the pipe again at 100C, where it turns, it turns into steam. Okay. Sloda. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we got some fried mushrooms. Sure, why not? Don't want any more dupes right now. What's our calorie? It's only 26k. That's actually scary. Um, graphs. Wait, no. Graphs? Colony report, colony summary. Reach cycle 100. Fantastic. Uh, calorie consumption? Calorie... Can I not see total calories? Calorie generation? Calorie consumption? Uh, okay. So currently we're at something like 20k. Oh, we are, we are in trouble, I think. Why are we not producing enough? Probably because it's too hot. Illumination. Uh, well, these aren't our main food source. Uh, the mealwood is growing. Maybe I just need more of it? What's going on here? Pressure. Oh, there's... There's too much oxygen in here. I never expected that to be a problem. Um... Hmm. Hmm. You can see your current calorie store top left. Yeah, I, I do... Oh, there's kind of a graph as well. Uh, alright, what's the temperature like? It is pretty good, actually. Only here is it slightly too hot for mealwood. I can't exactly expand the farms where I would like to. I could do another farm here. It's not ideal, but it'll keep us alive. Also, well, there's carbon dioxide here. I think I've got a lot of dusk cap seeds by now, right? Dusk cap. Uh, what? Are they actually fungal spore? Fungal spore. Or is that... Do I have a spare farm where I can choose what to put in here? No. Is fungal spore the name of the seed, or...? Seed. Fungal spore. 33 units. Okay, cool. 
that's quite a lot. Um, I kind of want to move this ration box. I guess put it here for now. So that we can put a door here. Um, it doesn't need to be an airlock as long as... Is one tile enough? Let's, let's not assume it will be. Uh, one, two, three, four. So, like this. Um, but actually not tiles, we want farm tiles. And just regular farm tiles for these, right? Oh, they require slime. One more thing to worry about running out of. Darkness. Uh, carbon dioxide, slime, and farm plot. What does Mealwood want? Oxygen and dirt. I guess we're slowly running out of dirt as well. Um, but I think Dusk Cap. Dusk Cap is more tolerant with the temperature range, right? 5 to 35 degrees. Well,. If that's the case, I should put that here, and this should be mealwood. Uh, where's farming? Stations? No. Food. Just regular farm tiles. Uh, and I think I forgot the limit of how big a greenhouse can be. 96 tiles. This is 48. In that case, we definitely don't want to have an extra tile of height. Uh, three tiles is good. Actually, what might be even better... ...is if we have... ...one of these here, and then we do this. So how many tiles is this? 20, uh, 44 tiles. Okay, we don't need to worry about this unless we extend it all the way out here, which might not be the worst idea. 84, 90. It's 96, isn't it, is the maximum. Yeah. For one farm station, I could have it go all the way out here. But a farm station doesn't actually cost us anything, right? Produces micronutrient fertilizer to increase plant growth rates. Uh, contents fertilizer. Do we actually benefit from having a bigger room that much? Farm stations consume fertilizer. But does it consume fertilizer proportionate to how many plants we're dealing with? If I make one giant room that uses the absolute maximum 5 kilograms per plant per day. Okay, so we're really not that incentivized to, um, to make it that much bigger. I guess if we've got our water tank here, this may as well go further. Do meal, does Mealwood care if it has oxygen? No, it'll grow in carbon dioxide. Fantastic. I guess let's just be a little bit lazy for now and do this. Uh, 
and uh, I want to put a door here. This can go here. All right, let's do it. Oh, we've built this? Fantastic. Um, we were trying to run our pipe for carbon dioxide all the way up here, weren't we? What is this gas pipe doing? Pipe blocked. How so? Uh... Is it because there's oxygen here that can't get out? But it should be able to come out here as well. Why is the pipe blocked? The single most powerful, powerful food strategy is to leverage your pip to plant your seeds in natural tiles. They won't require dirt anymore, but the harvest time increases slightly. Uh, significantly. Interesting. Um, I guess we should hurry up with this. Let's give it a screen door. Yeah, I don't understand why... So carbon dioxide is being filtered up this way. Everything else out here... Pipe blocked. I can't see properly, like, what might be happening here either. Missing one pipe? I don't think so. Has the orange pipe an exit? Uh, no, but I thought... I thought gas would come up this way until it does have an exit. Stuff in pipes, vents won't flow unless there's a valid... Out oh, okay. Alright, good to know. Thank you. So I need, like, a gas vent here-ish? Or if I... Ooh. A planet. Uh, if I dig through here, are we going to find vacuum before I get to that tile. Regolith. Oh. Oh. Scary. I, I imagine right about here we're not going to find um, vacuum just randomly. We got iron, copper, so I'm guessing we get hit by asteroids or something? Meteors? We are more than half done with our first 10 recipes. Uh, this thing... We're getting melted ice, okay. If you mouse over a tile it will say space exposure if there is space behind it. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, good to know. Alright, we're gonna need some more... Pipe. 
Up here. Spooky. A shove vol. Was that a shove vol? Yes, it is. It just came back right after it disappeared as well. They still haven't built that hydrogen generator. Alright, we have our mealwood farm. And we've got 42,000 calories, so apparently we're not doing as badly as I feared. I guess it shoved its way in there. <laughs> Indeed. Space suits for no one? Absolutely not. Skew X. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can they reach this? You can't put vents slash pipes behind natural tiles. So they'll dig up what you just queued. Yeah, I know, I know. Those are incredible food sources if you can contain the shove vol and breed them. You don't even need to feed them? That's weird. Wait, what did I just hear? Oh. Oh. Violent. Oh, lobby doors. Uh, did that just add regolith? So I guess I don't have to worry about this slowly being eroded. Probably. In the DLC, you can... Only get shove voles on distant planets that are a nuisance to get to. They add regolith. Okay, cool. Good to know. And it is a filtration medium as well. I know we can use that in our water CF, which is normally using what? Uh, it just says filtration medium. What is it using? Oh, what? Okay. Using filtration medium. Uh, doesn't really say. If you want to have something outside, you will need bunker tiles slash bunker doors that need steel. Yeah, I figured. But I'm pleasantly surprised we can just at least dig out this far and not worry about, um, like, not have to get that high technology to vent some CO2 into space. And go. And the gas is working. Fantastic. Be gone, carbon dioxide. Alright, I think with that, it is well past time I took a little break. Fantastic. Let's get some words on the stream started. Bye bye black gas, yes indeed. I like the effects to show that there's gas there. Whoops. I made a boo-boo. There we go. Alright, so words on stream. Uh, copy link. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Words on stream is cancelled. What just happened? Uh, I think someone momentarily was suffocating, probably. There's probably someone way down 
here. Uh, no. Yes. That was probably it. Okay. Can we get a word on the stream? Seems good. We'll start that words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Oh, some wins just don't count, huh? One more? Okay. Nicely done. Let's continue with some oxygen not included. What was that? And where were we? I might let some of these uh, low priority build jobs get finished. That is ice. Where is ice coming from in here? Whatever the case, um, I guess I guess our next goal is to look for plastic or oil, um, but also we need to get a consistent supply of water. Oh, how's our farm looking? Quite good. Fantastic. How are our hatches doing? Overcrowded and unhappy. How old are they? Not very. Still, I guess we could... eat some of the older ones. How many... What's the maximum that would fit in here happily? Combat. All oh, right. All right. Are you happy now? Weirdly enough, yes. After watching your siblings just get slaughtered. Do I have to queue any? F I still don't have any jobs on this crafting table. Um, do I have to queue any cooking jobs? No, we've got 
barbecue fried mushroom on infinite. Apparently we can make cooked seafood. Don't recall fishing up any paku, but okay. Each hatch needs 16 tiles of space to be happy. So what have we got? 64, that is four hatches. Is this as big as a stable can be? No, it can be 96. There's no way we can automate getting rid of hatch number five, right? As far as I can think of. Um, why didn't this include the settings when I copied it? Each egg lying around counts two. Okay. What just happened? We'll never know. Uh, sure. Uh, maybe not that one. Can I disable auto harvest? There we go. Then again, maybe it is worth the commute to auto-harvest that. Or maybe I should just dig it all up. So that we get slime and... Uh, algae. Can we actually mop this up now? We can mop up one tile of it, weirdly enough. And then maybe additional tiles? Yes. Okay. Oh, we actually... We actually ran out of the water that we had here. Okay. I could take advantage of this steam vent. Actually, why don't we analyze it while it's dormant? Asandanima? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Isn't there an option to auto wrangle anything above the room limit? And then maybe some automatics to move it somewhere else. Um, auto wrangle surplus. Here we go. So how do I... How do I arrange for them to be taken somewhere else? Lava egg? Slickster. Oh, I think I read about this before. Um... Slickster. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to feed it carbon dioxide to get crude oil. Hmm. Oxygen. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Diet, carbon dioxide, slickster, crude oil. Um, oxygen makes it a long hair slickster, which just consumes oxygen. So, is that going to happen if I just don't put it in carbon dioxide? Place another critter drop-off in a different room so that it doesn't, uh, that doesn't have a grooming station. Okay. Long hair have very nice decor. Alright. Um, could I maybe... Make a room that's going to always have carbon dioxide. 
I could just split off from this uh, gas tank, a uh, gas pipe. And then... I'm, I'm guessing we won't get crude oil all that quickly, but we will get crude oil. Some ladders until we get this emptied. Uh, I guess a door. You only have one electrolyzer working? Uh, yeah, I've only... Oh. Oh, we've built it. Okay, cool. Um, we need some... Some more refined metal to upgrade all of these wires. So that we can run two uh, hydrogen generators on the same circuit. And... How much have I got? Copper. 1.87. Let's see. Wire... Conductive wire twenty-five. I thought it was be I thought it would be five per tile. Uh that's gonna add up real quick. So let's see. Ten, eleven. Uh seventeen plus four. 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 27 plus 13. 40. 40 times 25. Um, we're already looking at a thousand. Oh, we are running out of copper. Uh, where do I get more copper, or do I have something else I can use? I've only got two and a half tons of iron. That's not really an option. The build wire mouse over has the remaining materials. Oh, does that include what I've laid out? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, are you telling me we're actually painfully close to having enough already? Um, but I need more... I, I kind of wish I hadn't used as much copper in the rock crusher. Alright, um, why don't we make another seven of these? And I'm sure we'll find a bit more copper somewhere else. Right? Probably. That's the best way to get at it. Mm. There's copper all the way up here, right? Or is it mostly iron? Or it's all iron? Uh, what do we need to make, uh, what do you call it? 
What do we need to make spacesuits happen? Stations. Uh, refined metal. Refined metal. Refined metal. Uh, refined metal. So we don't need plastic. While you build, you have 10 tons of gold amalgam you could use to make gold wires. Uh, cancel while you build, and it makes sense. Yes. I kind of wanted to save the gold amalgam for something that takes advantage of its unique properties compared to the copper, but I guess we don't strictly have to do that. Can also survive space with oxygen masks. Oxygen masks. Oh right, I didn't take the lava eggs. Um, because I was going to build a place to take advantage of them. Did you research the mask? I don't think so. I haven't done research for a little while, actually. Mask. Oxygen mask pattern? What? Oxygen mask dock. Enables fabrication of oxygen masks at the crafting station. This definitely didn't exist back when I played. Oxygen mask checkpoint. Okay. So this is an easier version of uh, the spacesuits. Also, there's nothing that this is a prerequisite for, so we went past it. Okay. Space doesn't actually hurt, they just need to breathe. Let's see. Yeah, I'd like to get at that uh, apparently free infinite source of metal up here. Atmo suits really shine in hot temperatures. Okay. Oh, and... Yeah, I haven't built this yet because we're waiting on more metal. Refined metal, in particular. Let's get rid of this thing. Definitely don't want to... ...waste any more uh, metal refining it that way. That'll give us a bit of copper back. Whoa, 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 when did we get this much water here? Uh, that looks very strange. I guess we've got a bonus airlock over here. Also, did I mark that for... yeah, I did. We got Chivos. Oh, we already looked at them. Research complete. Jet suit. Oh wait, this is old. Let's dismiss all that. It's not that much water, it's just because there's two types that can't mix. Interesting. And it's keeping it from flowing over here somehow. Check the comfort temp levels for the slickster eggs for them also. Uh-oh. 
10 to 70 degrees of negative 5 to 90. Uh, wait, the hot, the oil ones are 50 to 104. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're not going to be... We're not going to be taking advantage... Uh, taking advantage of that anytime soon. I could just skip this one. And we'll cycle it to the next one. May not want them next to the ice biome. Yeah, indeed. Okay, I think I want to get some Atmo suits once we finish this part. I, I do wish it didn't go with the philosophy of you can't even plan something out unless you've got the resources. Skipping is smart if you just want the reroll, yeah. I definitely don't want more dupes at this point. Water, water everywhere. How's our water temperature here? Uh, it's actually reasonable. Cool. Yeah, it is slowly dropping. Where's your hottest biome? Um, this, this part's kind of warm. Our base is actually looking pretty good, temperature-wise. I guess we could just pump some water in here temporarily. What is this network? We're not using it. Let's get rid of this. And get rid of that, and this, and add some wire down here. Add a pump right about here. Uh, pipes. That's not what I'm looking for. There we go. And this will be fine, actually. Yeah, that should work. And then we need to power it. I shouldn't have got rid of that uh, manual generator. Or the battery, for that matter. Who's suffocating? How are you su Oh, I see. Gaffer, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, second thought, I should put this at the bottom. There we go. And then we can have a nice straight ladder all the way down here.
Maybe I should pump all of this carbon dioxide out into space. Alright, how much of this? Zero. That's not the number I'm looking for. We do have some copper lying around for some reason that is not counted. It must be because it's queued up to be used over here, perhaps? Yeah, there's some missing over here still. Can they even reach the bottom without masks? Not very well. Oh, the bottom of this water? Yeah, definitely. Um, I could probably stand to cancel these jobs for now, though. I need to do something about all this melting ice. Actually, how hot is it getting in here? Still negative 30 at the anti-entropy. Hmm. Oxygen mask checkpoint. Nice and cheap. Oxygen mask dock. Stores oxygen masks and refuels them with oxygen. Built next to a checkpoint. Make duplicates put on masks. Requires gas intake pipe. Okay. Has to be built next to the dock. Okie dokie. But then I need, like, a horizontal spot that they have to pass through in order to use this properly. Uh, I guess I could put it all the way down here, but that's not so good. Hmm. I'll probably have to dig in, like, an S-Bend somewhere to make them use that. Oh, this Draco is wild. Also, how are these Dracos doing? They are not happy. Cramped. You're almost dead already, so... And you're pretty old as well. This one's a baby. Alright, let's see if that stops them from being cramped. They are no longer cramped. Fantastic. The dock needs gas pipes with O2. Yeah, I figured. It's going to be a bit of a nuisance. What if I could make it so that this water that keeps drizzling down here goes back into this somehow?
and then just in case the water gets any big ideas about going this way put an airlock Won't that mean we end up with polluted water there sometimes? Uh-oh. Uh... Uh... Did not th think this through. Okay. In that case... I guess I could just add a water filter to this. And then where am I going to put the polluted water? I could have any polluted water come back here. Yeah, so first I need to get rid of this. And then... I guess I need to remove that bit of ladder as well. Can't I put this here? Oh, because this manual generator is still there. Uh, I don't think we need it. I can always put it back. The wheel is in the way. Yes, indeed. Also, I guess that's uh, another... 120 watts, but in reality it's going to be like 10% of that, or 20% when we've got, when we double it up. So that's not going to be a problem. Uh, and actually we can just put it here. Easy enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Polluted water. Fantastic. Alright, cool. And I didn't even have to add any uh, power wires or anything. Can we not get our metal refined? It says there's no water. Don't tell me the water's too hot. 7.3 degrees Celsius. Output pipe full. Uh, okay. Is this thing broken? We have power. We have power. Oh, this is working actually. I think we need a little bit more slack in our fluid system here. How can I do that? Can I make like a empty pipe job? We've got plumbers, right? That's what we need to do that. I think I saw that somewhere, but I'm not seeing errands, properties, icon bottom right, extract 
Extract pipe contents. Okay. I imagine just a few tiles is going to make all the difference. Oh, is he going to keep doing it until that's empty? Well, that works, I guess. But... Waiting for materials. Okay, so it doesn't say output full now. We can remove this while we're at it. Now then. Uh, water will indeed flow down to here. A few more jobs until that pipe is finished. And we can stop mopping up all the time. Waiting for materials, so we're out of copper? No, we've got four and a half tons. Since when do we have four and a half tons of copper? I don't feel like I marked that much of it to be mined. Or deconstructed that much of it for that matter. Alright, that's working well enough, I think. It's also going to have the added bonus of cooling the water here. Wait, what did we just... Don't, don't deconstruct. Dig that. Okay. Insufficient oxygen generation. Um, I think we're okay. Seems good, actually. Someone's idle. You probably see that as a good thing, actually. Um, although we're not building this, so... How is it we have 5.2 tons of copper, but this isn't getting built? It is getting built, apparently. Oh, it's being ordered with gold amalgam? Uh, whatever, we're gonna deconstruct that later anyway. What are we printing? Mirth leaf? Sure. Hopefully this will be the last time we mop like this. What's the temperature here? Uh, good enough for farming. Nice. Probably, I mean, I would definitely hope so. Yeah, it's looking like overkill now. Uh, setting up this farming here, but that's fine. Wait, I made this slightly bigger than usual.
I don't like it. Also, why don't we connect these? We've actually expand expanded our base all the way down to those uh, first two lockers that we found. That looks weird. Alright, how many jobs are left here? Um, we've still got 5.5 tons of copper now. That'll do. Work errand. How is this priority nine and never getting done? Check refinery errands. Meep current errand, it just disappeared. Uh, and I saw a fluid issue there. If no one came here, how did that just happen? Or did I just miss it? Fabricate bean current errand. Okay. And we just ran out of power, seriously. Okay. I guess it needs more coal generators because of the uh, aqua tuna. Hmm. Okay, I see what's happening here. Could I make this door not open unless the battery... If I use a mechanized airlock, I could, I could have this door shut unless the battery charge is high. And then the, and then the job won't get interrupted by running out of battery charge. I wonder if I even need to... Uh... Wait, is it going to automatically open and close the door? Or can I make it so that the door will be locked or not based on the automation signal? I get the feeling from what I saw with the interface between the smart battery and the hydrogen generator that I'm not going to have a choice in what it does. Let's find out. Okay, so this is manual. This is just like a regular door. And then... Automation wire. Huh. Oh, wait. This is going to need an inverter. Red signal when battery is fully charged. Unless it's less than 10%. Yeah, so it'll start giving us red when this is charged until it gets low. It'll start giving us green when this is low until it's charged. 
Hmm. Green signal open, red close and lock. So we need a knot gate. I can actually put this in the walls, that's nice. And we could all... Uh, I probably didn't need to use the door because I just noticed um, as well that this thing has enable or disable building. So we want... I could just leave that door as it is if I want to. Uh, if I just give it a knot gate from our conditions for charging... The battery? So what, once the battery is fully charged, we're going to say you can now use the refinery unless battery charge gets low. Could deactivate the refinery itself, yes. Um, so we don't actually need this. We can use a regular door there. I guess we're waiting for a minute before the tubes get here. Do we have enough for some wire now? I hope so. Uh, so close and yet so far. Also, I need um, gas input for this one. Whoa. What is he up to? Uh, bio? Properties? Where does it display what he's doing when he's happy? Sparkle Streaker. Overjoyed. Fantastic. And I don't think I particularly care when this door gets made. And then again, the CO2 is getting out. Flooding. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Priority cleaning? Don't leave it half done. Made a mess. Really? You got bathrooms right there. And this is where you made a mess. Oh, he's stuck. Okay. My bad. Um, actually, I'm surprised he can't jump down from that ladder there. Hmm. 
no one's able to get over here. Okay, so we got our knot gate hidden behind uh, all of this. Fantastic. So once the battery is full enough, which is going to happen after this thing is done running. Oh, it's the loop. Hmm. That is going to make the, the water nice and cool. But on the other hand, it's never going to stop. Okay. Um, this is sort of a good problem to have. Uh, but we need some refined metal again. Just a little bit. Why don't we remove that? That's only 25, but that's all we need, right? 25 kilograms. That seems like a lot. 25 kilograms for the liquid pipe thermo sensor. But then we need automation wire, which is another a little bit. We also need a uh, liquid shutoff valve. So that's that's 75 plus the wiring, so call it 100. I think I also want to change this bridge. We're gonna have um, we're gonna have a conditional bit of flow before it goes to the bridge. Before it loops, that is. Two months, indeed. I am the sky. Thank you for the resub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, I think ideally I would like... Bridge so that this is higher priority, but also... Liquid shut off before it goes into the bridge. And we're going to shut it off when the water is sufficiently cool so that we don't just spend all of our energy getting this down to negative degrees. Okay. So now we can actually get some metal refined. We've got 30 kilograms of copper. When did that happen? Not that I'm complaining. Isn't it 100 kilograms per square? And we only actually get like half of it? No, this one's 340. Okay. Alright, well that's that explains where we've been getting this copper from. Fantastic. Uh, work errand. So this is working now. But once the battery gets low enough, it's going to switch back. And battery full. Switch again. And don't tell me we're not going to get a work errand here fast enough. I guess once this empties of... Oh, it's cycling the air all the time, so that's costing... What, 360 
What? Uh, that is suboptimal. I wish I could have a uh, an inlet for gas that only sucked in a specific gas. I guess I could add something to detect carbon dioxide. It automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport. Interesting. Let the optimization demons in. Yes, indeed. It's not just optimizing. It takes a lot to, to really get things working. Uh, so. Atmo sensor. When gas pressure. Okay. There was one for a specific gas somewhere. When selected gas is detected within a pipe. Uh, pipe contents enter the chosen temperature range. In your second playthrough, you'll do everything to rush steel slash plastic, I'm sure. Gas pipe. Do we not have a sensor for gas that's just in the air? Gas element sensor. Sends a green signal when the selected gas is detected on this sensor's tile. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Um, that needs to be a super high priority because otherwise we're just burning coal to cycle air round and round and round. I could maybe strip some of these wires if I have to, to prioritize this. Did you just almost finish that job? No, you did finish that job. Perfect. And this one as well? No, don't have enough. Okay. Uh, gas output all red. Green. So when we detect carbon dioxide, we output green. All right, cool. Could you check the building entombment message? Oh, how did that get there? That is a big chunk of ice. Alright, we got our refined copper. Someone gonna bring it over here? Yes. Okay. So we detect no CO2, therefore we do not run the pump, therefore we do not run this. Therefore the battery charge does not immediately run out. And now that this is full, our refinery can be used. And someone should be on their way. Quinn is on the way. And of course our water output is looking good. Fantastic. And you stopped halfway. Why? No, you finished. Why did it look like you stopped halfway? And why is this 95 kilos? Oh, disabled by automation grid? 
Huh. Okay. That'll do, I guess. Um, and then we want to... I know there's a print available. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. We want to check the temperature of water. Liquid pipe thermosensor. I can't put it anywhere here. Hmm. I could do it there, I guess. But then... Hmm. I might have to just sort of arbitrarily run this pipe not directly behind uh, the AETN just so that we can sense the temperature. Or... Yeah, there's no room. This is gonna have to go here. This is gonna have to go here. This is gonna have to go... here? I guess that works as well, actually. Yeah, that should be fine. And we're going... Uh, we're going to shut off the loop flow if the water is cool enough. Okay. That does drain the battery pretty quickly. Also... Hmm. It would be good if I could have the coal generators switch on before the threshold where we give up the recipe. But I would have to add more stuff that I don't want to. Yeah, unfortunately it's not like we can have different circuit conditions coming from the same smart battery. If I had two smart batteries and they they could separately have separate conditions, that would work. We don't have room to do that anymore. Whatever, we've got something that's functional to get us some refined metal. I guess there's no need to do that. Made a mess. You're in the bedroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Uh, yeah, that's, that's my bad. I could dump polluted water in here as a short-term solution. Uh, let's see. Output... There's no room. Where does this go? Pipe spaghetti. Uh, 
I think that means I could just add this here, at least for now. Unmixing is a pain? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I've already got it set up to do that. We just uh, filter whenever we take from here. Oh my lord. Wait, what happened? Oh, also, I forgot about the print. Oxyfern seed. I think I've seen oxyferns somewhere. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oxyfern. That sounds like it produces oxygen. Oxyferns have perhaps the highest metabolism in the plant kingdom, absorbing relatively large amounts of carbon dioxide, converting it into oxygen in quantities disproportionate to their small size. They subsequently thrive in areas with abundant animal wildlife or ambiently high carbon dioxide concentrations. Fantastic. Carbon dioxide, 625 milligrams per second. Um, yes. 0 to 40 degrees. Requires dirt, 4 kilograms a cycle. Water, 19 kilograms a cycle? Yeah, that sounds extreme. 19 kilograms a cycle. Uh, so one square is a thousand kilograms. Maybe it's not that bad. Hmm. Well, we can always just not have it planted. So I'm guessing that goes, uh, into something like this. Actually, why don't I put it way down here? Because someone will have to feed it. I, now that I think about it, with given its requirements, I'm guessing we have to put it in a farm tile. Needs two height, so it needs to be a farm tile. Okay. Let's just do that for now. And here comes our water flow. Uh, I need to set up a priority liquid bridge here. Or rather, a deep priority liquid bridge. Why is it going back that way? I thought this would make this liquid pipe higher priority. Did I get it backward? Can water even flow from the toilets through the farm tile to the pit? Yeah, they can. There's a bridge over here, bridge over here, and then there it is. Um, I was just trying to put this pipe here so that we are taking from here, but this is deprioritized. But it doesn't seem to be working that way. Does that mean this was wrong? Also, green signal if, what was the condition here? If it's hot, so above 
I don't know. 20... 24 degrees. Cool. the polluted water ever stop flowing from up there? You know what I should be doing instead? Is this... What difficulty are you playing on? The default... Germs not that bad on default. I should hope so. <laughs> Otherwise we're in trouble. No one is coming. What was that sound? That water is going to be one big pile of germs soon. Uh, what do you mean by soon? Oh, that's... It's all slime lung, actually. How did that happen? Well, it's a mystery. Totally not because polluted water? Yeah, no, it's fine. We're filtering it. What could go wrong? Okay. Are we just about stabilized? When's this thing producing again? 23 days from now. How much, uh, copper do we have? A whole 400? Can we actually get this done? 260 remains. 160 remains. And the automation wire is already there. Um, I think that's it. Uh, did we do the gas? We did. Hold on, where is this going? Oh yeah, that... that's... that's correct. Alright, let's do it. Wait, we ran out of... Uh, we sort of ran out of hydrogen. Sort of. Because it's all waiting to go in this second uh, hydrogen generator. Okay.
And up here, please. Up here, please. Fantastic. It's alive, alive. Why is this gas blocked? Oh, that's probably why. Can't really see it here, but all of these tiles have gas in them. Missing. Okay. One off. Soon. Not allowed by schedule. God damn it. Little, literally just one piece of wire left to be built to get the whole thing going. Uh, we actually did... Hmm. We actually did run out of... Uh... What? Why can't I see where this goes? There we go. We actually did manage to run out of hydrogen this time. Probably wouldn't have happened if this wasn't blocked. Maybe. Or maybe I should put in a valve or something so that... So that we don't use this unless we've got uh, some reserves of hydrogen. Struggling to get started now. I guess um, doubling everything raised the bar for getting this thing kick started as well. I wonder if one manual generator is enough. Wait, 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 what, what? Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't s Well, there's your problem. Uh... This is supposed to be... filtering hydrogen. The hydrogen should not be coming... down here. Oh, no. We've got random hydrogen in the base. We're never gonna be able to clean that up. It's all over. Oh no. Yeah, it helps if half of your hydrogen doesn't get lost. Lessons are being learned. Yes, indeed. 
I, I'm pretty sure I used copy. Like, I, I wish when I used copy like this, it would copy settings. To make that gas filter. Okay, I do see the battery charge trending upward, I think. It's hard to say. I wish I could make blueprints, yeah. Kind of crazy not to have blueprints for, some, for a game like this. Well. Hopefully they can get the whole thing started tomorrow. We really need this pipe saturated as well to help more hydrogen get over here. Making the same rocket interior eight times is brutal? Oh god. I saw just a little bit of, um... Salford Cell making rockets. I can imagine how that would go. We have another print. Pinch a pepper seed. I've already got four available. Or we could do another pip. It's probably for the best. Not sure if blueprints work. In, would work in this game. A lot of the late game structures require steps to construct. Something I've wanted for a long time in Factorio is um, priority levels for the different items in a blueprint. Though I understand that wouldn't quite do what you're talking about. Okay, we are gaining hydrogen, but that's with uh, someone on the hamster wheel. Pretty sure we're trending towards this thing running itself again. Just have to get enough hydrogen in the system. Still on this work of art? More or less. I've actually doubled it. And now we're having trouble getting it restarted again. Sigma Beam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we did actually have it running self-sufficiently on the hydrogen that it produces as well. Um, but also, we kind of don't have that much water anymore that could run out. All right, that's starting to look pretty good. All of the hydrogen is going past this junction now. And eventually we'll get to the point where both of these hydrogen generators are running. Someday. I think it's literally going to take a few more cycles 
um, before we see this thing working properly again. Alright, so we've got, uh, we've solved the heat problem for a while, we've, uh, oops. Mealwood. Wait, what temperature is this? Yeah, 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 this will be mealwood. We've solved the temperature problem for a while, uh, we've got plenty of water coming in. We've got refined metal being made consistently. Oh, in fact, we finished all of that. What do we got? 3.5 thousand copper? Whoops. Off stream, you should check out the Compendium of Amazing Designs. It's amazing how far things have gone with this game. Uh, I don't want to spoil figuring out how to do anything. I'll take a hint when I need it, but for the most part, I want to figure it out myself. Battery charge got all the way to 25% for a second there. Maybe I should reshape these pipes so that. so that these two get hydrogen evenly. That's probably going to make a bit of a difference. Probably. Oh wow, the battery just just filled, like, immediately. Um, surely we just happened to reach a critical mass at around the same time as well. I don't think that pipe change made that much difference, did it? Maybe it did, because... Because the stuff that produces the hydrogen is not bottlenecking on power. Yeah, I think that might have actually made a huge difference. Okay. No more need for the manual generator, probably. Uh, let's put the threshold here all the way down to zero. They'll use it to get this thing going again, if it comes to that. Fantastic. Let's look for some oil as well. Oh right, we need some kind of oxygen masks or something for that. Okay. If we're gonna need to pump oxygen anyway, I think I would rather... So the dock has to be... I think it's at least one dock has to be on this side. I imagine that's how that works. And if we do use the oxygen... Where even is it? Stations. Oxygen mask. Duh. I think this works the same way. Probably. Alright, 
Could I just build one of these here so I can see what it looks like? Atmo suit checkpoint. Uh, you know what? Let's build that there first. So we don't have someone walking around with a random Atmo suit that I struggle to get them to get rid of. Stations, Atmo suit checkpoint, Atmo suit dock, and I'm guessing we need somewhere to build. Uh, is this it? Exosuit Forge. Forges protective exosuits for duplicants to wear. They won't fabricate items unless recipes are queued. Only 480 watts. All of a sudden I can't build it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Can be filled with oxygen. Okay. Does this have an errand? Yeah, it does. Fantastic. Alright, so it needs power, item, and oxygen input, I imagine. Oxygen intake, power, and dock settings not configured. Configuration required. The next suited duplicate to pass will unequip their suit and dock it here. Deliver suit or leave empty. Okay. So if I cancel deliver, it's set to undock, I think. Alright, let's make... how much power does that need? Only 120 watts. But it's 120 watts per dock. What happens if it's not powered? They just can't pick it up? Exo suit forge. Um, let's get. Well, let's get some more fine metal before I forget. It's already queued up. I guess we'll do some basic power here. Wait. Aren't we already... We've got this one for the pump. That's gonna take a while. Also, I just realized it's gonna go above this lip here. I don't necessarily want that. Oh, that's a lot of natural gas. Wait, what? Why is there natural gas? Oxygen, chlorine, carbon dioxide, oxygen, polluted oxygen. I, th I think there's just a little bit of natural gas here. Isn't it like orange-ish? Yeah. I don't know how it escaped, but... Probably fine. Are we getting polluted air because there's polluted water here? Is that what that is? It's 
really quite difficult to refactor an exact an, an existing base. All right, let's throw down a battery. Um, a smart battery, even just because it won't leak as quickly. Seems like... I was gonna see, say seems like the system is doing well, but the battery is always empty. Hmm. And yet there's always a good chunk of hydrogen cycling around. It's very spiky at the moment. Okay. What are we printing? Pip... How many pips do we need? Poker shell? Snippy little poker shell. What do we got? Polluted dirt becomes sand. Rot pile becomes sand. Polluted dirt. Rot pile. Slime becomes sand. Uh, sure. How much polluted dirt do we have? Polluted dirt. 5.9 tons. Alright, I think I know which we're picking. Uh, I should probably make a home for it. Where is that going to be? Probably up here. Main use of poker shells is getting extra lime for steel, because the lime on the map is otherwise limited. Okay. How long is this? Uh, 18 tunnels. it yet. Uh, I'll wait till that's done. You just got yourself stuck, didn't you? Never mind. Max tiles for stables is 92. Yep. I want to stick to a pretty standard layout for the most part. Wait, isn't this... That's 16. That's 16. Okay, it looked like that was wider for some reason. I guess we actually don't need these ones. They can jump up, can't they? Yep. This is going here. And this is going here. Also, why is there an electrolyzer there? 
still. I think I placed it to just get a look at it for some reason earlier. Alright, so max probably five critters. Um, and we want a focus shell. And I still didn't get around to having some place for the other hatches to go. Where's the oldest one? They're all 30. I see two eggs here. Let's just have some steak. our little friend eat again. Polluted dirt, that's what we want to get, our, get rid of. Oh, what? Oh, we're ready to go here. Atmo suit, copper. I take it it's made from refined copper? Um, does this have, like... Atmo suit one atmo suit. What? It doesn't seem like different materials have any effect. When we make the atmo suit, three hundred kilograms of refined metal is kind of expensive. We have enough for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't think we have as many mess tables as we have duplicates. I'm surprised how long it took for me to notice that. I guess I should make another mess hole, but where am I going to put it? Waiting for materials. Fantastic. Um, so this would also require... Oxygen. I guess... What am I doing? Gas pump? Isn't there a smaller gas pump we can get later? But I think it requires surprisingly advanced stuff. Can't remember where to find it. We're just going to pretend there's no chance of picking up a bit of carbon dioxide from there. Whoa, what the heck was that? Um, I was just clicking and dragging across here when it did the beginning of the cycle hitch. And I, I kept holding it down, just waiting for it to do this. But... It, the game had other ideas. Okay. Building while autosave is slightly buggy, apparently. Let's check on our build up here. I see lots more hydrogen. I do not see lots more battery charge.
Small pump needs plastic. Sounds about right. Maybe with a little circuit wire, I could make this a lot smarter. Um, what are our reporting things here? Red signal when full. Green signal when 50%. I want half of these to only operate when we've got plenty of battery charge. So... An inverter? And just have these ones run all the time? You just have not enough power? Yeah, because we haven't got the... We haven't got the cycle fully mature yet so that this is saturated with um uh with hyd hydrogen if anything it should be more efficient than uh, more power efficient than what we had before but it's just a bit harder to get it started And we can allow the gas filter to run unconditionally. That should do it. And I might change the low threshold as well. Oh, there's one missing here. There it goes. Okay, so these three will run all the time. These three will not trigger until the battery manages to get full. That's looking promising. And that means we get a consistent flow of gas before we before we get the whole thing going properly.
I was muted, wasn't I? Okay. Uh, so once we get this uh, hamster wheel going again, because we're not wasting power on half of these pumps and electrolyzers, it should be a lot easier to get the whole thing started properly. Although it's still a bit spiky with the way the gas behaves. More than a bit spiky. Okay. Did we get our suit delivered? No. Where is it gone? Oh no. Did I... Uh... I, I didn't leave it assigned to someone, did I? Um, how... What's the quickest way to flick between all of the dupes? I definitely marked it to be delivered here. Did it get put in storage, perhaps? It might have gotten put in storage. Is there a way I can find it? I'm not seeing anyone running around in an Atmo suit. Uh, how about this? Heron's supplying. Okay, there we go. You can click resources on the right and it'll cycle through them. Resources. Do you mean here? Atmo suit. Okay. All right. So this thing is still saying no gas output. So we can't just connect it like this, I suppose. Wait, why are you not wrangled? There you go. Also, uh, what does this thing eat again? Polluted dirt and... Oh, right. It'll show it here. Poker shell? Polluted dirt and rot pile. Perfect. Not the menu, the display that is always visible, like your list shows algae, etc. Uh, sure, but what does adding this here accomplish? I guess if this was lying around somewhere still, it might be a bit different. Still says no gas output? What? Oh, you're kidding me. There's this one little bit that's... Okay. Uh, in that case, I want to remove that so that we can see how this works. And... 
and put that there, please. Sneaky dupes. Disable the checkpoint for a few minutes. Oh, they can't get... Oh, I see. Checkpoint. Disable. They can't actually get here because it's beyond a checkpoint and the Atmo suit has no oxygen. It's a catch-22. That's pretty funny. Um, can they actually not reach this gas vent? They built it in the first place. Okay. I did mark it for decon... No, I didn't, apparently. Oh, I did mark the pipe for deconstruction, as it turns out. Alright, so that does count as an outlet as far as the gas pump is concerned. Why is it still going? What What is this? I see the bar filling up and then it says no O2. Uh, are we like losing oxygen out of this pipe somehow? please. The dock and the suit itself needs something like 240 kilograms. How long does that take to pump? 500 grams of oxygen. That's in the gas pipe. Made a mess. Why did you make a mess there? There are three le there there are three toilets available right now. And and you're in like the main bus the the you're in the main elevator. Why you do this? I am very disappointed, Steve. Three toilets without water. What the hell? Why is... It's all pollute... How is all of the polluted water over on this side? Oh no. Um. Doesn't mix very well, does it? Uh. 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 It's fine. This, this is fine. Looks cool. Uh huh. Construction. Go. Oni is cruel, many problems arise only dozens of cycles later, indeed. I, I've never seen... <laughs> I've never seen it do this before. It's like, Neapolitan... polluted or not polluted water.
Okay. This thing is still filling up with oxygen. Uh, my dupe had better be able to go a long way with that Atmo suit. Alright, let's speed this up again. Made a mess. Well, you chose a good place to do it, I guess. What do we get? Omelets. Sure, why not? There's a bit too much stuff on this wire. I think I remember the wire sometimes breaks, but you don't lose metal or anything if you overload it. If that's the case, I'm not that worried by this. Here comes the water. Fantastic. Has the base heat evened out yet? Uh, not really. In fact, this whole area is getting a lot hotter. Although, all of the places where we're farming are just fine. So I don't think that's too bad, actually. The cool air that we're getting uh, from here is helping. Still struggling to get this thing. No, I'm seeing a lot of hydrogen here now. It is getting closer to being... to running itself. And the battery's full. Fantastic. Um, didn't I set it up so that these ones would switch on once the battery was full enough? Red signal when 99% until it's less than 5%. So that's what's... Oh, it didn't actually reach 99%? No water coming in? Oh. Well then. That is... Not the reason I was expecting it to stop. 14.2 cycles until this works again. Did we finish analyzing this? We did. Uh, that was nice and easy. This does produce hot water in a roundabout way. Um, or not very roundabout at all as far as we're concerned. We can just build a... Uh, we can just build a pump here. Now the fun may start. Steam vent taming? I mean, it's not that much hotter than... Especially here in this cold biome. Uh, it's not that much hotter than the water that we were relying on before.
It comes out at 100 plus degrees, yeah. But it won't be water unless it's 100 or colder, right? This is a hot steam vent, 500 degrees. Uh-oh. Hundred and eighty seconds every five eighty three. I'm really not sure how to deal with that right now, to be honest. Um Does this cold biome like arbitrarily produce or rather siphon off heat or will this eventually just cook the cold biome ignore it till you have better materials open space and it's not your problem anymore it has the temp that has it has the temp that it has okay it'll cook everything eventually Cold biomes will eventually melt. This is like the reverse heat death. Did we get our Atmos suit? We did. So it's 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 charged up with oxygen now, right? If I undock this and I just assign it to someone. Who's our best hauler slash How about digger slash builder? That would be Bubbles. Uh but I think you actually need the skill to wear a suit, right? Or are they just better at using it if they have the skill? Let's find out. Bubbles. Assigned. Bubbles. Follow can. He's picking it up. He's holding on to it. Uh, that's the one thing I didn't expect him to do. You put it at the entrance slash exit of your base and dupes pass by and wear it. Yeah, I expected that behavior, but I was wondering if there's another way to use it. They use it only on the other side of the checkpoint, so the position at the moment is weird. Yeah, 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 I wanted to do a little experiment. Um, so if I tell him, wait, what did I just press? That's, I, I hope I didn't just tell him to get rid of the suit. Okay. Atmo suit. Bubbles. Okay. Move to... Actually, let me reactivate this. Enable building. Oh, he's wearing it! Wait, what? I thought we needed a checkpoint. No, this is what I thought would happen before. You can manually do it. Yeah, no, this is what I was expecting. You can force wear a suit, okay. So, if I now get Bubbles to move over here, he will automatically take it off. Cool. Fantastic. Okay. Let's do this uh, somewhere a bit more useful. So we need to make room for it first. Um, probably somewhere like here. 
And we'll give it an airlock. I guess it doesn't matter if there's an airlock or not. The way we've got things set up for the moment. Um, we will be needing all of this, well, except for the exosuit forge. Um, we'll be needing all of this downstairs. Or I could just run some wire... Wait, I could use this wire network. This is only 240 when it's running. This is 120, 240. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. So we need somewhere that has oxygen. We need to actually make sure that we filter the oxygen as well. Um, now that I look at it, I may as well use this that we've already built. Um, okay. So we're going to deconstruct that, deconstruct that, mop this up. Speed up the game. And we've already got this gas line here, but it's not doing anything. Uh, deconstruct that. Run this. Through here, please. And... Uh... I guess this is fine. Get rid of that battery. Clean up this mess. Clean up this mess. I guess I should keep this closed. It'll eventually fill up and this won't be able to, ex uh, to output heat. If there's no room for the water, right? How did this get polluted water in it. Whatever. Uh, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay. Go, 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 go. Faster, please. Why are you leaving? Oh, come on. He's gonna die this way, isn't he? That was way too close. Disable the checkpoint? Uh, it didn't work out that way. Saved, indeed. They will just take every opportunity to kill themselves. Okay, stations. Atmos suit dark. I guess this could have been here actually. But it's fine. Atmos suit dark. Power. And gas. 
Luckily we had this uh, gas pipe handy already. Redeem porn name right after that. Okay. Um, any porn in particular, or just the first one that doesn't have a taken name? I trust in the mighty creator to save all the pawns. We already lost one, though. They will gladly run through lava to grab some rocks. Oh, no. All right, we got bubbles. The one that almost died just now. Fantastic. Uh... Undead... Hunter. Uh, bubbles didn't take damage, right? It's just oxygen supply. Yeah. We don't need to heal him or anything. Okay. So once this is actually built... can actually get to digging much, much further down. Oh, and I was going to put the oxy fern seed here. Dirt, water, and nothing else. Oh, and carbon dioxide. How's our oxygen? Looks good to me. I am a little surprised we, uh... We sucked up all of that water. Thirteen point three cycles until next activity. That is a little while away. We could grab this water, and this water, quite easily. And that's also going to supply our water system down here. Polluted water doesn't work, it's going to get filtered out. Oh, wait. Almost all of it is polluted, isn't it? Oh, well. Wait, what the hell? What is this? Oh, did someone go through the door while this was flooded? Uh... Well, I probably should have thought of that. Also, here is a tropical paku that will live here from now on, unless it gets cooked alive by the water geyser. I guess that opens all of this up now. Not that we necessarily want to do anything with it just yet. Plants have died. Mealwood. Uh, where? Where have the plants died? Maybe here? Or, yeah, I just saw them die. Okay. That could be worse.
Well, we got plenty of water stored away now. Uh, what's the problem here? Deliver suit. Uh, I see oxygen supply filling up. Wait. I forgot to put a filter on this. Uh, it's probably fine. That's, that's, that's not, oh, it's a vacuum. Okay. It's pro probably fine. It's raining again. Okay. And this area is just a mess now. It sucks so hard it creates a vacuum, indeed. Now to fix the electrolyzer water supply, it'll sort itself out eventually. Actually, yeah, we do need to get rid of this polluted water, otherwise the water geyser won't have room to output, I suppose. But that just means running this uh, manual generator for a little while. I've actually finished all of the metal jobs. We don't have any more copper. Oh, we have 500. Yeah, we have hardly any more copper. I guess I'll have to start using gold amalgam for these things. What can we print? Uh, sure. Wait, what do they actually consume? I never even thought to check that. Shine bug. Bristleberry. Gristleberry. Phosphorite. Mushroom makes a sun bug. Right mushroom. They're gonna just be wild if I don't, like, domesticate them. And feed them something specific, right? Are these shine bugs consuming anything that I care about? Or do they just... What even is phosphorite as far as I'm concerned? Phosphorite. Oh, we need it for... Yeah, we need it for fertilizer. I remember now. It's the bluish stuff. Does the water even come out if the geyser is underwater? No, it doesn't. That's why I have to get rid of this. I may have uh, been a little bit overambitious with how quickly I dumped all this down here. I think we'll just skip this print, actually. We've got plenty of food, at least. Awaiting delivery? I don't think we have to worry about mopping that. Actually... Whoops. Okay. Be 
gone random water. Should be able to fix these up now. Oh, that's nasty. I should probably do something about this water flowing somewhere useless. Um, I guess if it comes over here... It's eventually going to get put back into the system. How oh, is our oxygen? It's actually... I wouldn't call that fine. We've got no algae. Where can I get algae without disrupting things? How much slime do we have? We can turn slime into algae, right? Eight point seven tons. Okay. Two hundred grams per second of algae. And not that we won't continue digging this out. Food has decayed. Unfortunate. I think if I were to do it all again, I would probably stop at like eight tubes to make the first playthrough easier. Where is this suit? It's still up here. There, there we go. Fantastic. And Bean has put it on. Nice. Off it goes. And it looks like because that was such a short trip, it took no time to fill it up again. Alright, let's start digging, shall we? Can I, like... Uh, never mind. I was gonna say, can I assign this or something? Oh! Oh, our, uh, our pips have been planting things. These weren't here before, right? Nice. Pips plant wild seeds. Yes. That is what I've heard. They plant wild seeds. So what? Seeds that haven't been put into storage yet? Or they'll take stuff from storage and plant it randomly. Which also means you don't have to give them water or dirt. Yes. That is the appeal. I never did dig down here. Oh, that's because this is too hot for farming. Well, with only one Atmo suit and a whole lot of jobs here. Did you really just... Okay. 
Ari. Just coming out here by two tiles and then putting the suit back. Alright. Things are... Uh, I'm kind of torn between wanting to say things are going smoothly or we're heading towards disaster in a number of ways. Cold damage. I just saw that. Can I, like, assign this to someone? Oh, wait, what? Someone's down there already. Okay, there we go. It is undead. Oh, we kind of sort of... a little bit... killed the fishy. My bad. The, uh... The decline of the finite resources I'm finding a little concerning. You can put a door in the way to the dock that only lets some dupes pass. Uh, indeed. So you can. So nothing here directly. But yeah, I would kind of like to say only let bubbles is it Bubbles, or did we rename Bubbles? I think we renamed Bubbles to Undead Hunter. Yeah, there we go. Well, we're, we're seeing Undead Hunter come down here a lot anyway. Maybe I don't have to worry about it. What? Did... Really? Schedule. It's work time. What are you doing? To-do list. Hi. Cook supply. Microbe musher. Undead. Undead hunter. Attacking. Digging. Why would... Oh, I think I see the way this works. They can only see one job that's reachable at a time. So one job gets... Uh, one job gets issued at once. Maybe someone else is scheduled to do this. Uh, that is annoying. Another dupe has the job to supply the mats. Okay. We're definitely doing the door thing. Let's make that high priority. Never mind. There is a toggle in priority window top right that uses proximity. Toggle in priority window. Options? Enable proximity. Always choose the closest, most urgent errand to perform. Okay. 
Let's try that. And there's our door. Uh, I'll have to wait for Quinn to go back. Is Quinn singing? Uh, where is it? Bio? Yodeler. Belts out catchy tunes when they are overjoyed. Fantastic. Construction supply. There it is. Okay, so... First of all... No one's coming through this door for now, except Quinn can go back. Uh, we can actually leave it open, but the permissions will stay as they are. And then... Undead Hunter only? Oh, you can even have individual... Oh wow, that's fantastic. You can have individuals allowed to go through one direction or the other. That's cool. Alright, so this is an undead hunter door now. Sleeping on the job. Better check later if an open door uses separate allowances. Um, I think... Oh, it's all greyed out. Well, we're about to find out. If anyone goes th through this door other than Hunter, then we know it doesn't work that way. Or it does work that way. Are you singing as well? Unrested too bright. What happened? Did a shine bug get in here? Sticker bomber. Okay, no. Fantastic. We got more of that pinkish biome. Salt, bleach stone, sedentary rock. We got printing. Uh, uh, sure. Take another hatchling. Thought this needed mopping for a second there. That was terrifying. Oh, you can see the oxygen supply as well. It's not half run out yet. That's quite good. I guess I really didn't need that particular piece of ladder. Whatever. Let's keep heading down towards these tiles. What's this? Phosphorite. I think we need some of that. We got some more algae as well. Let's see what we can see. That is a big chunk of iron. That is another big chunk of iron that I already could have seen, actually. 
Is this like Factorio where the uh, the amounts of resources that you find get bigger the further you get from spawn? Definitely uh, get into that iron though. What's this? What's with the red bar? Current load slightly above. I think it might have been the wire got damaged. No? Is it the suit dock that's damaged? Overload damage? Yeah, maybe. Awaiting repair delivery. Copper, 15 kilograms. Oh no. Okay, um... That's... 1080 watts out of 1000. We got 120. 240, but it's not used anymore. Two forty and four eighty is seven twenty, and then one twenty. Uh, eight hundred and forty plus. I think it's assuming that maybe the damage happened while this was still working. Should I leave that way of it? Probably not. Get rid of that pipe as well. I don't know. I'll probably maybe end up using that again. Maybe I shouldn't remove the wires either. But we'll definitely remove that pump to confirm that we're no longer able to go overload. Hunter has other priorities. What's this? Buddy Bud. What is a Buddy Bud? Naturally secretes a compound that is chemically similar to neuropeptide created in the human brain after receiving a hug. <laughs> nice. So this is one of those... It requires a farm plot? Wait, what? Positive effect on morale, much like a... <laughs> uh, I thought this would go in... Uh, a wall pot, or a flower pot, or a hanging pot. It is a nice smelling plants with floral scents flower pot. Alright, let's let's pick this up. I wanna find out. What on earth is that? Is, is that not the cleanest? fluid airlock you have ever seen. I might have to start making those deliberately. Unless, of course, it's a good way to get duplicates sick or something. Maybe water and salt water could have a similar effect? It's like a force field or something. Look at it. It's perfect. We've got 183,000 calories now. I think we're well and truly 
into calorie surplus mode. So we've got that going for us. Plenty of oxygen as well. We're getting close to... We've got 7.8 cycles left to get rid of this polluted water so that the water guys can output actual water again. Looks like we'll have plenty of time to pull that off. Maybe I should make another suit. We need like 105 more copper. Or I could start using iron. Or gold amalgam. No, I can't use gold amalgam for this. Jet suits require steel. Not too shocked by that. I mean, steel sounds a bit heavy for a jet suit, but the fact that it's uh, more advanced isn't surprising. Um, all right, let's make some... What is this? Broken liquid pipe. Uh-oh. Someone's going to fix that, right? Errands. Why is no one fixing it? Priority? All? Yeah, there's jobs here. Um, I kind of want to move this over so that we can have another suit dock. I guess for now this would be easier. Although, to be honest, I don't think moving this over would actually be that difficult. Deconstruct. Create copy. There's no create copy button for this. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait till that one's moved anyway. And we just have a security door to nowhere. Okay, diamond. Diamond, you say? And that's crude oil. Alright, we found it. Now we just have to figure out what to do with it. I feel like... a dog that managed to catch... Uh, the postal truck or something. However that saying goes. Is nobody going to fix this? Do we need some skill that I haven't... ...haven't checked off yet? Uh, we've... Someone has the skill for everything except for rocket piloting... ...and rocket navigation. So, that's not the issue. Oh, there it goes. Alright, that's fine. Um, iron ore to iron. Yes, please. How much iron do we have? 2.6 tons. Let's go for 1,200. Until we get some more, which... Won't be that big of an issue, actually. Uh, 
should I do this? Did we move this yet? No. Um, I might have to disable it. Yeah, I think... Wait, 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 wait. Where is Undead Hunter? Or whoever's wearing the suit. Let's wait till you get back first. What are you doing? Um, how about you move to here? And it's too late. Okay, never mind. Deconstruct. All right, that works. Actually, I guess there's no need to move this right now. Just cancel deconstruct. Yeah, we can make another one or two of these quite easily. I would have thought if there wasn't an Atmo dock directly behind the checkpoint, it wouldn't know what to do. Alright. So we're going to be waiting on a bit more refined metal, I think. Flooding. Oh, not this again. Too much to... okay. How do we keep ending up with polluted water in here? This thing produces carbon dioxide. This takes gas in, spits out the CO2 to space, recycles the rest. Ice. I think it's because water... There shouldn't be any polluted water in this loop. Unless... Unless this thing outputs polluted water? Uh, let's see. Refinement. Metal refinery. Liquid intake, liquid output. No, I think it outputs exactly what was put into it, but it's hotter. So where is the polluted water coming from in this room? I've seen it a few times. Very strange. Oh, we got this built already? Fantastic. Let's get one more. Oh, right. We're waiting on the... We're waiting on the refined iron for that. Molten polluted ice tiles from the original bio? Uh, I think we cleared that out before.
Uh, Jake, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I also have no idea how polluted water got in this room, but... Yeah, 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 polluted ice. That's probably how that happened. I should probably visit this vending machine. Why are there black tiles here? And what just exploded? Um... Oh, I think I know what that was. That was something... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up here. That's fine. Printing... Uh, I'll absolutely take a snazzy suit. And they hold it away so fast I don't even know where it went. Um, do I have to assign it to someone, or...? Sheep seen there. How do I...? Can I do, like, a permissions thing? with clothes, or do I just have to find it and assign it to someone? Snazzy suit. Or can I do it this way? Snazzy. Uh, click. Okay, that's... We actually had one up here. It's on the ground. Find and assign, okay. And then... Hold on, is there a downside to this? Snazzy suit, decor 30, insulation... No, there isn't. Clothing refashionator. Fantastic. Okay. Um... So shouldn't we be able to see... There we go. There it is. Alright. And we... And... That's the one we already assigned. Battery is working again. Which means we can make refined metal. Fantastic. I really wasn't wrong to be that unwilling to use the, uh, the rock crusher. I'm actually surprised just how scarce the resources are. still. Nope, we got a hundred somewhere. Wait, what? Wolframite to tungsten? That's not what I meant to queue up earlier. Oh no. I mean, it's probably good that we have tungsten. I didn't, I don't even know what wolframite is, uh, or that we had it. Wolframite. Additional states, liquid tungsten... Uh, stone hatch? Can turn this into coal? I, I would prefer not to. And a smooth hatch can actually refine it for us, except we lose 25% of it. Interesting. Dense metallic element in a solid state. It is a source of tungsten and is suitable for building power systems. Uh, cool. 
I don't think there's really any reason that I would want to use that in its unrefined state. So... Forever. And as for iron... Maybe I'll want to use it in its unrefined state. Let's hold on to half of it. If you dig further around, you will find a lot of resources. I hope so. I mean, judging by the patches of iron that we're finding... Um, I can believe it. What is that? A slickster. And it is glum and overcrowded. Oil reservoir. Nice. Alright, so we have an infinite supply of oil. Good to know. Just have to figure out what to do with it first, not to mention get down there. How hot is this place? Very hot. Should probably pay this spot a visit as well. Oh, we got a cycle sensor that we could take for free. There's also some wire in here we could steal. This place seems to be melting a bit. Should pay more of those a visit and look for the telltale uh, four blocks of neutronium. Rummage. Inspect. I look around and recover an old file. View entry. Ants. Atta cephalotes. Cephalotes. What sort of experiment are you doing with these? No experiment, I just find them interesting, don't you? Not really. You ought to. Very efficient. They perfected farming millions of years before humans. Sound of tapping glass. An entire colony led by and in service to its queen. Each organism knows its role. They have the results from the power tests. And negative. I see, you know... I see. You know, an another admirable quality of ants occurs to me. They can pull 20 times their own weight. I'm not sure I follow. Are you pulling your weight? Aggro. Uh, are we going to get this empty in time? I think we are. Empty of polluted water, that is. We are already sending a little bit of water back up here, but I wouldn't get too excited about it just yet. Abe keeps coming down here. It's fine, I suppose. Now that we've found the oil, I don't feel that rushed to keep digging down here. Um, just need to actually find out what is to be done with the oil first. Refinement, I guess? We've got oil refinery. Converts crude oil into petroleum and natural gas. 10 kilograms a second. Uh, is that fast? That sounds fast. 5 kilograms a second of petroleum, 90 grams per second of natural gas. Did we have something here that was producing natural gas? Um, as a side effect, I think, yeah. That's why we've got a natural gas generator here to suck it up. But unlike the hydrogen generator, it just takes it 
directly from the air around it. So then we've got, let's just imagine we delete the natural gas. Uh, which, now that I think about it, that is actually an option these days, although I guess we, if we're doing anything way down there, we have to pump something pretty far to expose it to vacuum. I could make, I could make a pipe network that goes quite far for any gases we want to get rid of, actually. It's not that difficult. But we should probably make use of the natural gas. Um, what does our generator do again? Refinement? I mean, power. Natural gas generator. Produces carbon dioxide and polluted water. That is kind of a nuisance. Yeah, we can deal with those. I mean, we did it here. Alright, so we get... Let's look somewhere a bit more quiet. Uh, petroleum, basically. And then with petroleum... Do we not have the machine for this yet? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, petroleum. Petroleum engine. Petroleum generator. Uh, petroleum liquid. Hold on, let's look at this first. Generator uh, gives us... 2 kilowatts for 2 kilograms per second. Hmm. We could use it to run the plastic, uh, to, to run the oil extraction, perhaps. It also outputs carbon dioxide and polluted water, like everything else, apparently. Uh, petroleum liquid... We can make jet suit with steel plus petroleum. Molecular forge makes super coolant out of all of these things. Gold, petroleum, and fullerene. That's kind of expensive and advanced. Ice... Isosin? Viscogel. Uh, polymer press. I've seen that somewhere. This is how we make plastic. Petroleum makes plastic, steam, and carbon dioxide. Doesn't say how hot the steam is, but we should probably throw that back into a steam generator, which we won't have because... We're making our first plastic. At first. Uh, produced by oil refinery from crude oil. And a molten slick stuff. Okay. So basically... We deal with the natural gas. We use polymer press. And then we've got carbon dioxide and steam to deal with. Polymer press produces not much steam. Some... one per cycle? Okay. Um, do I already have the polymer press? I don't think so. So we have some research to do. Polymer press. That is a glass forge. Here it is. And 
there's the mini gas and liquid pump that I was looking for. Okay, cool. It would be even better if it uses less power. Later. Ah, oh, right. Okay. It's quite hot here. 80 degrees. Hmm. Jumping Joya. Decorative plant. Okay. Uh, we got a printable again. Briar seed. Sure, why not? I'd really like to get that second Atmo suit before we finish today. Uh, I need another th three recipes of copper or iron to be finished here. What's the problem now? Insufficient resources. That's for the Wolframite. But we've got an errand queued up. This will be for iron. Whiskers is on the way. Fantastic. Okay. How much coal do we have? 38.4 tons. I could probably be using more of that. Um, one of the main reasons I don't is... Well, two reasons. Heat and carbon dioxide. We can deal with the carbon dioxide here very easily. Um, as for the heat... Damage overheating? Wait, what? Uh... Ah. Oh. Okay. How do we prevent this from happening? AETN not working because no H2. Yeah, I know. We're, we're still waiting on the geyser. 2.6 cycles before it does its thing. Can we, like, mop this up? Yeah, we can. Um... How would I tell the thermo aqua tuner not? I can't put a heat sensor on top of it or attach to it, right? Best I can do is put one right next to it. At what temperature does it overheat? That depends on what it's made of, right? Uh, waiting repair delivery copper ore. Let's see. Utilities, thermo. We can make it out of basic stuff at least. Let's see. Uh, overheat, 125 degrees. 125. Overheat temperature plus 50. That is gold amalgam. We'll definitely do that. But also, uh, what temperature did it actually get to? Well, it's all the way down to 75 already. But I thought it was even hotter. 
uh, than that temperature before. We can do one or both of these. Make it out of gold amalgam. Overheat temperature goes all the way up to 150, uh, 175. That is pretty hot. And if that's not enough, we can put a sensor next to it as well. If it has a working burst, it heats up quickly. Hmm. I believe it was around 95-ish? Okay. What was the current overheat temperature? Uh, 125. It was definitely more than 125 then. When your refinery just finished, yeah. Hopefully we can get to steam power tomorrow. why I was trying to make everything out of copper, albeit maybe I'm going a bit overboard with that. But again, 10 ton is not that much in this game. Oh, we've got our 500 kilograms of iron. Fantastic. Let's make our second Atmo suit. And then we can have two whole dupes down here whenever they please. Oh, it's already taking overheat damage. Okay, how hot is it? Uh, 333 degrees? What if we limit... What if we limit the fluid input based on the temperature? Or we could just turn it off as soon as it reaches a certain temperature. That could work too. Is the heat going to be as high just here, though? Oh, wow. No, it's not. How are we supposed to... It's already down to 116 degrees after, like, one more second. No, wait, I'm looking at the oxygen. 333 degrees. Hmm. What I would need to do is bottleneck the water that comes out of this. Don't... Oh, wait. I know how to do that. There's like a manual... Yeah, there's a liquid valve. Okay. 
can we actually automate a valve? Not just on and off, but the flow rate based on temperature? Well, we're, we're back to the same problem. We can't actually detect when this is getting too hot quickly enough. That's just liquid shut off, so I think the answer's no anyway. Um, okay. Let's just make a valve. goes here, and apparently a pipe could normally do 10,000 grams per second. Uh, what if we limit it to a twentieth of that? And see if this thing overheats again. Here it comes. Good timing. Wait, did I accidentally give it insulated pipe? I guess that's fine. Alright, what's our temperature? Repair errand? Oh, it's still working. It is not even coming close to getting hot. It's at 12 degrees. Alright, uh, I dare say we can go a bit faster than that. Wait, I thought this would create a... Uh, an errand where a, a pawn has to flick this. Doesn't seem like it. Still only 11 point something degrees, or is that because an, a pawn hasn't flicked the uh, the valve yet? It is because the pawn hasn't flicked the valve yet. Okay. Morpheus is on the way. So short on power, so I can't really get a good feel for whether this will prevent it, what temperature this will reach. On status top, it shows the desired and actual flow rate. Oh, wait, where? What? Average flow rate. Do you mean the valve or this thing? Alright, so now we're getting all the way up to 15, 16 degrees. I dare say we can go a bit faster than this. Not that it's strictly necessary, but... Let's go 500. No, 1000. That's still one-tenth of normal speed. The valve, but the dupe arrived. Okay. Average flow rate, 1,000. 
Now we're up to 33, 34, 35, 39, 40, 44. I just noticed something dripped from way up here. That's weird. Also, the rummage was done. What did we get from this? I never even saw it. Apparently we've still got two snazzy suits. Well, this one's been assigned, but Bean hasn't collected it. Uh... Oh no, wait. I see how it is. Okay. Lorenza and Morpheus. Let's see, you're the first one I saw just now. All right, what temperature are we at? 57 degrees, 58, that's actually getting hotter than I thought it would. But we're running out of water. I think this will be safe. Are you losing frames or is my internet bad? Um, we haven't dropped any frames actually, the entire stream. Although, sometimes, especially the start of a cycle, there's a little bit of a hitch with the game itself. Ogs the arrived? Oh, the Jeep arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. That is probably not going to overheat. And we got our Atmos suit. Uh, did I... No, not yet. No fabrications queued. Um... Awaiting delivery. Errands. Store equipment. High priority, please. But... Is on the scene. Fantastic. Probably a Twitch thing. I also got a lower resolution than usual. That's really weird. We've got 6k and haven't dropped a single frame in seven hours. Couldn't ask for a better consistency, literally. Probably the server? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's get some more of this iron, I suppose. And I guess we'll do one more print before we finish today. What do we got? Blossom seed. Blossom. Oh, bristle blossom. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? That turned out to be less exciting than expected. Okay, uh, how long until this works? Uh, it is working. Oh, erupts in point 0.2 cycles. Here it comes. And we have, I think, two Paku that have gotten stuck down here now. I got the same needed to take it off for auto off auto quality and put it on 1080p. Weird. I 
And erupts in 30 seconds. Here it comes. Fantastic. Nine kilograms per second. And now we can start the, uh... Uh, the H2 dance again. Oh, I want to see how hot this... That's perfect timing, actually. It got to 62 degrees or so. Oh, that's fine. I wonder if it's costing more power because that thing's running for longer with less throughput, or if it works out the same. Well, someone's going to have to come kickstart the generator in the morning. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, playing oxygen not included, preferably. What do we got? Coffee Landers Edition? I don't know what that means. I'm still a newbie. Don't know if that's a mod or if they're just saying random things. Thanks for the stream. Sorry for BSG. No, it's fine. No, I, tips I can absolutely take. Uh, alright. The generators are gonna be fine, right, right. Yes. Yes, they are. Oh, are we running this thing now? Oh, there's no air here. Probably because this hasn't been running for so long. That is soon to change. Why is this nothing but oxygen? I don't like the inconsistency, but what can you do? Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, we'll be continuing Oxygen Not Included tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe even get to some steam power. I can dream. For now, let's drop in on... Cozy Magi, uh, Magi, Magi. Pronunciation is hard. I have redeemed a dupe. Uh, okay, let me double check that real quick. Kevin DK. Um, the raid is going to have to wait, I guess. Suffocating? Oh. Someone was suffocating? Oh, the breathability is back up to 50%. Oh my god!